All right, here we go, guys. Are you ready for Code Veronica X? Let's do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me on this Sunday night as we play Resident Evil Code Veronica X on the PlayStation 5. My name is JJ, and thank you all so much for coming by. Got a lot of familiar faces in the chat. I appreciate that, guys. Hope you had a great weekend. I hope you enjoy tonight's stream. I've been meaning to get back into Code Veronica for some time now. Ever since we played it for our Road to Village series, uh, I've been itching to get back into it. This is one that I feel is a great Resident Evil game that is underappreciated. And not just from the community as a whole, but from myself. I don't play this game that often. I remember when it first came out for the Dreamcast, I borrowed my cousin's Dreamcast just to play it. And Corey and I got up into the... Uh, the airplane, right, where you're fighting the tyrant, and I went into that with no ammo, and I was a stupid kid, man. I didn't know some of the features you could do, and I just remember, like, getting there, realizing we could not beat it to save our lives, and just giving up on it. I don't think it was until two years ago when Corey and I played it on the channel that I fully finished this game. I, I'm aware of it. I, I got the Wesker's report when I was a kid from Family Video uh, that recapped Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 leading up to Code Veronica, that was my favorite thing ever. I would put that on every night before I went to bed, and just hearing, uh, Wesker go through all the history of Resident Evil, like, I loved that. It was, it was free, and it was my favorite free thing I think I probably ever got. Um, and, uh, and I think maybe that's why Richard Waugh is my favorite Albert Wesker. Uh, but this game is definitely something special for the series. It continues Claire's storyline, which she's my favorite female character. It continues Chris's storyline. It's the first time they get to meet up. And then we get the reintroduction of Albert Wesker. So this game is very important to the Resident Evil series. And that's why I think if Capcom is considering remaking any games going forward after 4, I think they need to take a look at Code Veronica. And not just because it's important to the story, but this game, I think if I had any complaints about it, I think that the, the gameplay itself, going from Resident Evil 1 to 2, it felt snappier. It just played better. It was more fluid. And then from 2 to 3, the same thing. It was snappier. It was more fluid. It felt like the controls had been perfined or um, perfected, right? And then going from 3 to Code Veronica, the controls feel very sluggish. This game is, is chunky. <laughs> I think that's the best way to can ex I can explain it is this game is very chunky. Uh, there's no dome splits, but for a game that's... Uh, fixed camera angle, which it's dynamic fixed camera angles. I love that. That's that's my preferred, my go-to. Fixed camera angles are great, but dynamic fixed camera angles, that's what I love. Um, but for a game that is fixed camera angles, tank controls, sluggish controls, I think if any game kind of needs a remake, right, that would fit the bill. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll leave it there. But now let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you for coming by. I just kind of wanted to go over my, my sort of history with Resident Evil Code Veronica where I stand uh, on it um, as a fan, and uh, kind of where my experience level is. My experience level is actually pretty low with this game. I think I've only completed it maybe one or two times in my entire life fully. I've played it a million times. I just never completed it until like two years ago. We got Lee Ross, Severo Vor Vertex, the master of unlocking Capcom Killer, Bacon and Grits, the Doom, Des the Doom Day, the Doom is Day, sorry. Metro Boom and Cam, Center for Evil, Miguel Lopez, Seth Lillard, Cowboy Harry. Thank you guys for coming by. I, I appreciate you. I do a five minutes starting soon. That gives everybody time to join. Five to ten minutes just chatting. Let's me catch up and hang out with you guys. And we jump into the game. So if you're watching the replay, same thing as on the Residents of Evil. Uh, we'll have timestamps down below so you can jump to whichever portion of the stream you would like. And I would also like to welcome everybody that may be coming over from the Residents of Evil and that doesn't know what this channel is. Well, <laughs> It's bigger and better than the row for one. I'm just kidding. It's my second channel. It's my gaming channel. Uh, it's where I can kind of, whatever I feel like playing, there's no rules here. It's it, There's no series, no schedules, unless I set it. It's whatever I feel like playing, whatever you guys feel like playing. And we just hang out and it's it's chill, right? It's uh, it's just whatever we feel like playing. I, have, I like to have the second outlet so that when we have planned series over there, planned content, here I can just kick back and play whatever. And I feel like, Code Veronica is the perfect December game. There's snow. There's snow and it's a Resident Evil game. I know there's other Resident Evil games with snow, but this is the best one of them. I'll be in and out. Oh, it's all good, Proxy. Thank you for coming by, man. Uh, I would love to see a Zero remake with co-op. I think for Zero, as much as I enjoy some aspects of it, I think it's the best looking of the fixed camera angle games. And 
I'm a sucker for fixed camera angles. Um, the the gameplay is messy. The lore is messy. I feel like that one would would be really well deserving of a remake to tie it in and and fit a little better with Resident Evil One remake because I still think that game is perfect. Um, but the way that uh, we got Rebecca going from like this badass who just survived an entire night of this and has seen everything to like Resident Evil one remake where she knows absolutely nothing about what's going on and can't defend herself. Like that doesn't make sense. Um, you know, the gameplay itself, that would have been a fantastic co-op game that totally could have worked. That actually would have even put the shitty Lord of the side for me. So I could, if the co-op was there, you know, yeah, that game. And, and it's still not a terrible game and I would like to revisit that one as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, that that could that could do with some changes i think i think uh you guys like my sweater yeah this is from Cosmers. they were our old sponsor uh they used to print all the row merch which i love the row merch they i love their material it's very like under armor it's very silky it's very smooth uh but unfortunately the company um went out of business uh so this is discontinued uh but they sent it to me before that happened uh, so thank you, Coswares, and unfortunately you can't get it, because I know I always have people asking, where'd you get that? How can I get it? You can't. I'm sorry. Uh, should have caught it when I promoted it the first time. No, I'm just kidding. That was like four years ago. Uh, we got some support in the chat. Thank you, guys. I greatly appreciate that. 150 people here. 60 likes. Holy crap. Thank you so much, man. This isn't the Residents of Evil. This is JJ versus Evil. To have that many people here before we even begin the game means a lot. So thank you, guys. Uh, we got Bacon and Grits. Remember, for five months... Row Squad Mercenaries, thank you. This is a, a, a subsidiary of the Residents of Evil. So we got mercenaries over here. Happy five months, JJ. Glad to be here, man. Code Veronica is a big fave, and I hope Capcom remakes. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you so much, and I agree. We got Hector Resident, member for five months, almost half a year. Row Squad Mercs, JJ. Yeah, Dome Split. Hell yeah, brother. Zachary Leonard, welcome to Row Squad Mercenaries. Longtime viewer, longtime supporter. Thank you so much for rejoining the Mercs. Appreciate that a ton, Zach. Thank you. Let's all welcome Zach to the Mercenaries. That's our first new member of the night. And then we got Mr. Hennessy and Hot Cocoa with a $1 super chat and those sweet, sweet golden cheeks. The, a little bit of Residents of Evil lore, if you don't know. Uh, clap those cheeks. Um, that started with the channel as kind of a joke. Uh, but I believe that started because of this game. When we were playing this for The Road to Village, it was because of this game. I made a comment about how perfected the glutes and those butt cheeks were on the, the tyrant. And how it was so funny that the camera just zooms in to his buttocks uh, when he first breaks out and meets Claire. And uh, because of that, somebody said something which triggered something, which it, it the clap the cheeks, tyrant cheeks, that comes from this game. That was where that uh, Residents of Evil sort of inside joke came from. So there you go. We owe that, the clap the cheeks and, and, and all of that to Code Veronica. Because that, 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 that tyrant booty in this game is chef's kiss. Um, <laughs> there you go. Tyrant Cheeks is spamming the Tyrant Cheeks. As you can see, I guess a lot of butt cheeks emojis on this channel. It's way cool. It's way cooler. If you like butt cheeks. Uh, we got Capcom Killer. Remember for eight months, Rose Squad Mercenaries. Thank you, Capcom Killer. Happy holidays, JJ. Any new year resolutions for you next year? Also, how far are you getting into this game tonight? Code Veronica is a great game. It really depends. I'm going longer. Yeah, I want to... It depends on how much fun I'm having, how much fun you guys are having, but it's going to probably be quite a bit. I, I would like to get to uh, where we fly away, uh, maybe a little past that, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, I know it's probably going to be a two-part no matter what. This is a long game. There's a lot of backtracking, and I don't know it near as well as I know one, two, three. Like It's one of the least I know uh, out of the entire series. Herman Turrington member. Oh, oh, actually, I'm sorry. Herman Turrington gifted one Rose Squad mercenary member. Grow the Mercs. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for growing the Mercs, man. I appreciate that. Let's welcome our new member and give it up to Herman for growing the uh, the subsidiary team here. The uh, the real MVPs, the mercenaries. Yeah, we do, we do the dirty work. Claire's HD cheeks aren't too bad either. Oh, we're going to see him tonight. This is playing on the PS5. It's going to be clean. It, it's going to have the piss filter, <laughs> which sucks. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, but it is on the PS5, so it's going to look clean. It's going to look smooth. And uh, hopefully the frames make up for the piss filter. I, I could have ran it on the emulator we did during our series on Row, and it looked good. 
but the emulator seems to be having a problem with my new graphics card or something, which is odd because my old graphics card ran it fine, but I've been noticing that when I boot up an emulator, that's when my com computer locks up. What's a piss filter? Everything looks yellow like it's covered in piss. I think that's the best way I can explain it. What are we on? 15 minutes? Yeah, we're a little over time. So we're going to jump into the game here shortly. Uh, this is a long, great game. It is fantastic. I love it. I even love that it's clunky. That's fine with me. Greetings, y'all. Hope you all having a good day. Thank you. Less listened audios. Thanks for coming by. Can't like Resident Evil without liking glutes. You can't hear them running towards you by those by the clapping noises, those thunder thighs and those clapping cheeks. That's how you know. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, no, it's, it still looks fine. It looks really good. If I didn't tell you there was a piss filter, you probably wouldn't even realize there was a difference, honestly. I'm buying a PS5 next year. Oh, that's awesome, Daniel. Congratulations, man. I hope you enjoy it. I love my PS5. I think it was a great investment. I got it uh, not scalper prices. I got lucky and I got it on GameStop. I watched it for like a month straight and or like two months straight, actually. And I got it and I love it. This is a great system. It just is really ugly looking. I don't like the look of the PS5, but I don't really care about what my console looks like. I just want it to work well and it works great. Gotta love them residential games. Something this left cheek yes uh just to let you know you guys know i'm glad to know all of you i'm glad to know you too alex and all of you guys i'm glad that you come by every sunday or every friday on the row every sunday here and then during the the week with our twitch streams andy was just playing this game earlier today on the twitch i was watching the whole thing it was he's very entertaining andy is uh that's the thing with the row team is they're all on the team because they're, i like them all they're they're they have a good personality. They're fun to talk to. They have their own experiences with Resident Evil. And now that each of them are streaming to the Row Twitch, it's like you get this whole new variety of content, of similar content, but a new variety of personalities. And I love that. And Andy was playing Resident Evil Code Veronica with uh, third person, which is super cool. It was a little jank and it needs work, but it was super cool. And uh, it was just really interesting to see the game from that perspective. I played it in first person. That was fine. It was cool. But third person was, it, I don't know, it was different. You got to see a lot of things you didn't see when you first played this. So shout out to Andy. Uh, Row team member, latest team member, Ro, uh, Andy, also from Biohazard Declassified for streaming this earlier to the Twitch. All right, guys, I have talked long enough. I just want to say thank you all so much for coming by. Almost 200 people here. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the stream. And thank you guys so much for 90 likes. This isn't the row. It's not as big as the row. This channel's got like 16K subs, which is a ton, but in comparison, nowhere near. So the fact that we're already at almost 100 likes means a lot, and it helps small channels like this uh, get into the YouTube algorithm. So thank you guys so much for hitting that like. Let's jump into Code Veronica. Whew, I feel like I talked a lot. I gotta take a drink. Oh my God. Okay. Got to get a little of that uh, energy. Make sure the game audio is on. We are good. All right, guys. We're playing Co Resident Evil Code Veronica X on the PlayStation 5. Uh, this is my first time playing it since our Road to Village series about two years ago. Absolutely love this game. I feel like it's very underrated. Uh, but it's also a game that I don't play that often. And I felt like this is the perfect December game to play. Because winter, and we're going to the Arctic. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to jump back into it. I don't know this game like I know 1, 2, and 3. It's going to take me some time, so bear with me. But the fun thing is we're all here hanging out and playing it together. So if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. And please let me know how my audio levels are. I want to make sure I'm not overpowering the game and vice versa. So we're in a new game. Resident Evil. Albert Wesker says it there. Resident Evil evil hey what's going on william birkin shoulder eye the american midwestern town raccoon city has been completely decimated due to the t-virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation umbrella claire redfield who arrived in raccoon city to search for her lost brother chris and a rookie police officer leon s kennedy managed to escape from the city but their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the whole game Three in tonight. Months later. But I'm going to get a good chunk of it. It's probably going to be a two-part series. 
Rockford Island. Let's go. Dude, do a barrel roll. You got it. Whole game takes place on this little Your island. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Ouch. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. You know, I honestly remember as a kid, I remember this cutscene cut being very cool, but I was like, I remember vividly thinking, this is a little too over the top. So a lot of people say Resident Evil 4 is where the series got too action focused, but I remember thinking that about this game. As much as I loved it, I was like, okay, we're, we're all running helicopters with Gatling guns. It was so cool. And it, this actually made its way into the movies. Waffle Boy Zach, thank you so much for that $2 super chat, man. I greatly appreciate that. Every Claire solo game is on an island. It does kind of, it's her thing going forward, is it not? <sighs> that is true. That is true. I mean, don't he's got a move. deagle, and you're out. I don't mind the over the top action now, but I will say at the time of being a huge fan of 1, 2, and 3, I was one of those fans that was very against it. I didn't like 4 at all when it came out. Other, It was a lot of fun, but I just, that's kind of like the first time I was like kind of falling out of the series. It wasn't until I came back around years later and, and, and appreciated it for what it was, but I used to be a, a very diehard like, no, I know the game's fake, but it's got to fit within this realistic, you know what, you know what I mean. Block me from YouTube, I know you're watching this. You're not blocked, I can see your comment. <laughs> Hey, Prophet, how's it going, man? Shh, we don't question physics in Resident Evil. I do remember being blown away by how good the graphics looked on the Dreamcast. It was like the first time where I was like, oh, we're on a whole new, we're a whole new ball game here. Oh, nice, Douglas. O octagon? You hate octagon. Me too. Just kidding. He's all right. How's it going, Prophet? If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. All right. Oh, hello, handsome. Do you care if I reach out to you at some point when you are not busy? Yeah, of course, Seth. You can reach out to me whenever. If I get too busy, I just don't check my messages until I have time. So if you message me, don't think I'm ignoring you. I just I take some time and then I come back around to my messages. Go on, get out of here. Corey is at home this sleeping. We stream every Friday. Um, no, it might have been a special forces team. He's not always here. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. Thank you. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't Alice worry about me. She's good. Um, I appreciate the new uh, Claire Redfield voices. I think... Um, I think... Uh, Oh, God, I'm blinking. Give me that knife. Why, why am I blinking? But anyways, regardless, um, I think um, Alison Court will always be my favorite player. 
I just, I have the most nostalgia with this version. Uh, Daniel DeVello with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much for that uh, generous super chat, man. I appreciate that. I missed you, JJ. Been busy with mom, but we have been spending as much time as we can before she goes back to Chile on January the 10th. Also, she says hi. Tell your mother I said hello, and I'm glad to see you, man. Thanks for coming to hang out, and I hope you're having a good night, dude. Thank you for that support. I'm not going to save yet. That's playing pretty smooth on the PS5. Actually, smoother than I was expecting. It's snappy. It's snappier than I remember. This is your first Resident Evil game? That's that's a good one. Mom hype. There you go. Naked zombies! Everybody close your eyes. They got their uh, butt cheeks out. Here they come. This part sucks because you don't got a gun. You just got a knife. Grab the herb. I don't need it. Oh no! You guys like my pink chair? Looking extra pink tonight. How's the audio levels, guys? They're very classic George Romero zombies. They're hand Ooh. I hope, I hope Resident Evil 4 Remake does well, but only if it's good. If it's not, I'm I'm honestly okay with ending remakes. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, and it's like that awesome pushback feature from Resident Evil 3, right? Where they're all around you, so you can push a whole group of them. They just did away with it in this game. That's that's kind of what I mean by like the the controls and mechanics were perfected in three. And as as good as this game looks, it's, it kind of feels like it took a step back as far as that. Sounds good, same volume as voice. Okay, good. Thank you. Spray and pray, Steve. Ha. Huh. Only needed three bullets. Wait, wait. Don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. That's true, Douglas. That is true. The fan-made remake, they're still working on it. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. Shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. I've come to like Steve a little bit and more I'm than I used to. You're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. He does do a good Claire Steve Redfield. impression. Claire? Sorry. Mm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I hear there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. <laughs> You'll only slow me down. Andy does a good Steve impression, and Kai from Ink Ribbon does a really good Steve cosplay. Hey, I got a trophy! I love trophies in classic Resident Evil games. Come on, Capcom, bring them all back. Let's go. I want to be able to get trophies in Resident Evil 1 through 3. Survivor. Dead aim. Let's do it. I will say that the pistol, I don't see, I don't... I don't see the piss filter. This looks really good. Did I speak too soon? I thought all new versions of Resident Evil Code Veronica had a piss filter. This doesn't look like it has a piss filter at all. Put them down. Oh, they get back up quick. They don't. Forever. 
owns a boss. How many balls do you need? Jesus. What the hell? Okay, I, hit the, I got the fast turn. Quick turn. I need this herb. And then take the other one in the prison cell. He does look like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. That actually, he was based, his model was based off of Leonardo DiCaprio. And, um, Leon was based off of a young, um, what was it? It was Walking Phoenix's brother, River Phoenix. Yeah, because I used to think that uh, Leon was based off of Leonardo DiCaprio. But no. There's my inventory. Interesting. Had a crush on him too, did you? Even with that. Sorry about that. Okay. Give me your guns. It's a good diary entry, but I'm not gonna read it. I need this. No, these weren't pre-rendered backgrounds. This is the first time they had 3D backgrounds. And I do think that because of that, it looks great, but it does suffer for some for some of the um oh shit. Some of the details, uh, you know, it gets a little muddy. Because pre-rendered can really show a uh, really high resolution, like, detailed background. I mean, at the time. But I, I still think this game looks fantastic. I mean, at the time, it blew my mind. It was like going from Super Nintendo to PlayStation for Resident Evil 2. That was the same, like, from uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 to Dreamcast. It's all 3D? No way. Hey, Lake of Games. Thanks for coming by, man. Hope you're doing well. Beats! Ah, my toes! Beats on me! You cannot decapitate or dome destroy in this game, and that pisses me off. Alright, let's leave. Something's over here. Those. We almost <laughs> left without them. I'm gonna, I had, it's gonna take a minute to get used to the inventory being my, that's weird. I don't like that. Sorry about that. JJ's knowledge on these games is good that he has sounds like a developer explaining the nuances of their games. Yeah. I should do a review. That would be exhausting. Pretty good. Actually, really good. Underappreciated. We'll leave it at that. Happy birthday, Jacqueline. Hope it was a good one. I like how everything's got a little shimmer on it as the light passes by. That's cool. Hey, what's in this? That's a door. Gotta take a poop. The smell of lighter. Ling oh, the smell lingers. I was like, why does it smell like lighter? Come on over here. I gotta get around you. Speed running. Fastest anybody's ever seen this game beat. Controllers are a lot snappier than I remember. Definitely a lot better. Hey, Toby Obito with a $2 super chat. That's a very fun name to say. Thank you for that. Hey, Gigi, would you ever consider streaming Resident Evil Zero? Well, we actually have. It was part of our Road to Village series. And yes, at some point, I would definitely like to come back around to that game. I gotta check it out again. I don't know when, but eventually, yes. But if you, if you want to see us play it for the first time in years, check out our Road to Village series on the road. That's actually where you'll see that Road to Village series is where we came up with a lot of the inside jokes that we use today. You'll see the birth of a lot of that. Oh, shit. I like how they use the Resident Evil 2 zombie zone. Get away from my feet. Stop it. Ow! Bitch. Shoot him in the dick. Out of curiosity, uh, JJ, what did you make of the Callisto Protocol? For me, I thought it was good, but it did have its problems. It's definitely no Dead Space, but I hope it gets a follow. I hope... I. I really hope that game gets a sequel because I think if it does get a sequel, that's where it'll shine. I felt like it had a lot of really cool ideas. Visually, it was amazing. Uh, atmospherically, it was amazing. Um, mechanically, it was fine. 
it didn't do anything new for the survival horror genre. That's the thing is if I could have if I could have looked at that game from the perspective as a really clean indie game, like a $30 game, it would have been a 10 out of 10. But because it was a triple A game with the flaws it had and and some of the real jank mechanics, um it's hard to say. I, I felt like overall I, I did enjoy the game, but I feel like it definitely suffered a little bit here and there with some things like the save feature that the checkpoints and saves are basically the same. So if you save, it just brings you back to the checkpoint, whatever. You can't skip cutscenes. Um, healing, you have to, he looks at the freaking healing thing every time he heals. It's like, we get it, man. You know what it is. Just put it in your fucking neck and let's go. Things like that, you know, that's not polish. Overall, it was enjoyable. I felt like it was fine. What are you doing? The story here? was very been there, done that. Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my yeah, brother? Yeah, he's my boyfriend. Ah. Your siblings. Oh, well, yeah, I mean my brother. brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. You didn't it's a think good he was... thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, these textures well, that need file some updates. Shows latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why do you send your brother the coordinates and ask no, him to help? No, not worth eighty-six dollars, unicorn. I agree. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. Bro, he's I'm Redfield. Sure of it. You're stupid. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. Hello, King Shadow. What was that all about? It's a butt cheeks for me. <laughs> Steve's got issues, man. It's fine. He's okay. I gotta save. Memory card one. There we go, our first save. Did you secure it? Okay, good. Let's say, what if I can't save? I love emulating on PC. I love the fact that my PC lets you play any Resident Evil game and it looks gorgeous. But just having it of like work without having to jump through all the hoops on console is incredible. Like, let's just get all this stuff here. Let's do it. Okay, bye. Chris and Claire are siblings? Yeah, you're gonna find out. Steve's emotional, he's got lots of problems. This metallic, aluminum. Give me it. Please deposit any metallic Saves that work, woohoo, I know, right? It's nice, box. things just work. Fuck you, it's aluminum. Hey, I hear it. I get it. Good, let's go. Oh. You thought they were a couple? Are you serious? The worst thing in this game is this fucking metallic box. What? Turn it off. Hey, Sir Atazukin, Elder of the Row. Member for 15 months, mercenaries. Thank you so much for your continued support, man. We shall never speak of Callisto Protocol again. It is good to look at, but not all that was hyped up to be. So say we all, oh yeah, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, man. Thanks for coming by. I, I don't think it's terrible. And I actually, after I played it, I watched a lot of other people play it and I found it was enjoy, uh, enjoyable to watch them play it. I don't want this. Um. But, uh, yeah. We did it. I'll, I'll come back around for the, um, DLC. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I should probably use those freaking... Use up all the ammo in those before Steep takes it. Wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. Never mind. We're good. Good. 
It's the worst boss, dude. Happy Sunday, gang channel. Zombies. It's auto aim on. I should have shot that thing, but I had to. I had to get out of there quick. Oh fuck! I gotta reset this so I can run by and shoot that thing and blow them all. That shit. Perks. Stupid. Bitch! That was cheap. I'm shooting it anyways, I don't care. Hell yeah! Give me that. There's no quick reload in this. What? Oh, each side of this does something different. That's weird. That's my favorite zombie, the one that goes. Hey, hey, Jacqueline YK, member for 13 months, Rose Squad Mercenaries. Happy birthday, JJ. Thank you so much, and happy birthday, Jacqueline. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate you. Bro! Get out of my toesies! That one took way too many bullets. He's the worst, dude. King Zombie. He's the alpha. 260 people here, guys. Thanks for coming by. Eh. Doggies. Come on, I want to switch that. Yeah, we're good. Actually, come on. Holy shit, we're not good. I need ammo. Get! Fat piece of shit! Later. Bitch. Heart's gonna suck. Kalisto might get more appreciation later on. Yeah, I agree. I, I still, like I said, I like it. Haha. -ha. Naked. Get off of me, you piece of shit. Get your dirty, grubby, crispy fingers off me. I need that herb. Thank you. I don't know. We're moving. Might be able to beat it. Who knows? Doubt it. I need that herb. Plump cheeks. These guys got no cheeks. They got Hank Hill butts. They're disgusting. Claire sandwich. There's a point where she could have been a, become a Claire sandwich in this game. Yes. I feel like this is probably Claire's definitive game. As much as I like her in Resident Evil 2, I feel like out of the three that she was like heavily a part of, and I like how the herbs look like ferns. Um, but I think this is her definitive game. Just like Revelations 2 is Barry's definitive game. I feel like Leon's definitive game is two for me, but probably four for the majority of people. Um, yeah, I didn't like Claire, Claire's personality in Revelations 2. At the very end, she was fine, but for the majority of the game, she just didn't seem like herself. I don't got any ammo. Get. I gotta get an item box. I'm gonna go get my machine guns. Get. They're all kissing. No! That was a good dodge. Let me have this.
trying to think of where that freaking. Yeah, Ooh. I'll figure it out. There's some ammo over there. All I wanted was Claire sandwich, but she gave me it was an eclair. Oh, eclairs are good, dude. That's good. Stop it. I can use it. Get it out of here. Flaming zombies. Flame on. <laughs> Zombie voices are good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know you're over here, piece of shit. Not. Print it and send it. Let's get out of here. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Oops. I don't want this. Get out of my inventory. I didn't get the medal yet. Yeah, dude. Yeah, she's related to Chris. He keeps smacking the window. How do we get the metal? Where did I miss it? It's over here somewhere. Don't forget the fire extinguisher later. Just a reminder. Thank you, Adazukin. I'm gonna leave it here. Takes up too much inventory space. Why can't I go in here? Shit. It's in here. Oh, it's in here. There we go. I knew it was in here somewhere. I just couldn't remember. Hand it. Play freaking solitaire on that Windows 98. That is what fire extinguishers do, yes. All right, progress, baby. To everybody stopping in, guys, thank you very much. Let's take bets. How far do you guys think I'll make it tonight? And whatever you say, I'll do more so that I prove you wrong. Hey, Kale with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Kale. I remember Sega Dreamcast had an exclusive when Code Veronica came out. Yes, it was only on Dreamcast, which is why I borrowed my cousin's Dreamcast to play it. But the Dreamcast was a very underrated system, just like Code Veronica. Underrated game. Um, There's so many good games for that system. Uh, Soul Calibur, Crazy Taxi. Um, I just remember BMX. Like, there's so many Corian I played when we were kids. Shenmue. I can't take this stuff now. I don't got any. I don't got anything. Get off me, piece of shit. Damn it. I'll make it to the submarine. Okay, thank you. That's a thing. Everybody, spray and pray, baby. You're all done. How's it going, Takwish? What's up, Mr. Hitman? Are you a fan of the Hitman games? I love them. That one's just hanging out by himself in there. Leave him. Definitely enjoying my December so far. It's been fun. Bad dog. I just okay now at this door. There's some ammo in here. Well, thank you, Mr. Hitman. I owe my life to you. 
Get out of here. Get away from my feet. I love that I can hit two of them at the same time. But are you shooting one at nothing? There's some ammo over here. You know there's ammo laying around. Come on. Where's that ammo? Snappy cameras. I like it. There it is. In row. I'm live as well, playing Fortnite with my wife. Nice, Mr. Hitman. Yeah, that's the thing too, is uh, luckily I was able to save up for the GameCube when the Resident Evil 1 remake came out, Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 0. Uh, my cousin had a Dreamcast at that time, so I borrowed his, but uh, a lot of people couldn't play these because they didn't have the systems or didn't know people that had them. That sucks. I got lucky. Ammo's over on this side. Oh, Red Dead Online. Okay, gotcha. Need that. Alright, we're good. Got an item box coming up, which is going to be very helpful. Should be some, yeah, there it is. Bridge does not look safe. It is not up to OSHA code. It's about to collapse. Yellow submarines coming up, yep. Now this song's gonna be stuck in my head. That's, I think that was a problem with Dreamcast is it could play burn CDs. I know my cousin had a whole collection of every game, which was super cool at the time, but it was part of the downfall of the uh, system, which sucks. Yeah, it's like, yeah, at the time though, that was super neat that you could do that. Can't see him coming because of the fog. Stupid. There's another one over there. Oh, shot his hat off. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't remember ever shooting him off the fucking ledge. The hat thing, I always like that. You could just pop their hat off, but. That was the first. Hey, Landon. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming by. They got sticky jelly on their feet. Get out of here. He was going to get me if I didn't uh, go up there. It is very dark, JJ. This is a dark game. It, the brightness is up. That's just how this game looks. It's dark. It's dark and smoky. I could turn it up for you guys, though. Let me get a, let me get a filter on there. A bit of a color correction to make it look all nice. Look at that. Turn that. No, we don't want to turn that up. Yeah, I'll turn that to five, but then the contrast has to go up. 15. Brightness will go up a little bit. And that's 20. And the saturation is going to be cranked to probably 30 or 40. It's almost there. Not done yet. Blue's gonna look crispy. Might have overdid it. All right. How's that look, guys? It's definitely looking better for you than it is for me. Put my own filter on it. Or after. Before. After. Look better or worse? Give me that. 
Now good. Yeah. For you guys. For me, it's still, like, faded and dark. But it's, uh, saturated, boost, and contrasted. I went pretty hard with it, too. I don't remember this. Your mom. Let me put this bad boy. So it's looking way better for you guys than it is for me. These textures, man, they need some work. Better, better for sure. I'm okay, thank you for the feedback, guys. Get out of here, you little shits. Probably gonna go to the save room. JJ, now that I care about the Game Awards, not that I care about the Game Awards, but what did you make of Elder Ring winning Game of the Year? Fuck yeah. I said it was gonna. That game was incredible. It was probably the most addicting game I've played since Fallout 4. And I'm not a fan of Souls games. Never thought I was. And I decided to give it a try because I had an open mind. His is a chocolate door. It looks like you could break it up and eat it. What are those uh, chocolates called that look like that? But anyways, I, I gave it a try and I absolutely loved it to the point where it was too good. And I was too obsessed. And I wasn't making videos. I was I was neglecting my personal responsibilities. And I eventually had to say, you know what? I gotta take a step away from this game. And I stopped playing it. That's how good Elden Ring was. So, the fact that it won Game of the Year, well deserved. Put this fern in here. Put this player's manual in here. Okay, let's see what's in this thing. Hershey. But there's another one. Um, there's another one with caramel in it that's Carmelo, I think that's it. I think it's a Carmelo. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's a simple lock. I had a little, okay, I'm not the master of unlocking. JJ had to go to weekly meetings, you know how it is. <laughs> yes, you know. Take this, we'll save. We'll be on our merry way. I love the save room theme in this game. It is, it is up there in the top five, I would say. I think one night for the after party on roll, we should rank save room themes. No, dude, if I had any strings I could pull at the Game Awards, Resident Evil 4 would have won most hype game of 2023, and it didn't. I played Parasite Eve years ago when it first came out on the PlayStation with my my cousins. Not Corey's brothers, but my girl cousins. And I remember thinking that it looked visually, it looked like a game I would love, but mechanically it played like something I was not interested in. So I never really... It was interesting and I liked watching them play, but it just didn't grab me like Resident Evil's... They were playing Dino Crisis too. That was interesting. I was into that. But Parasite Eve, I wasn't really into. I don't know. It was different. And that's the thing, too, is I haven't played any of the Souls games before Elden Ring. I really want to play Bloodborne. That's a lot of people's favorites, and I love HP Lovecraft. I love the Lovecraftian sound. That's all that game is. So I would love to, at some point, play that. And this is locked. Okay, we got to go back down now. Clock Tower, I remember playing at some point, but not much. Oh yeah, what's a frickin' password? Hmm. No, I was in it. Shit. Hey, hey, Roid Rage. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming by. I don't remember this password. I'll just try Alex.
Nope, I gotta go look it up. Hey, there's a picture of Hunk on here. He was trained on Rockford Island. I mean, uh, one of my favorite games of all time is set during winter. Until Dawn. That's like a must for me. So I'm hoping to get through this game this week and next week so that I can close out December with Until Dawn. That game is, I gotta play that. Oh, NTC0394, thank you. Yeah, but Until Dawn is, that, that game I was very pleasantly surprised with that when I picked it up. Bushemi. I like Emily. I like all the characters in Until Dawn. As annoying as they are, I remember when I first played, I was like, I fucking hate that bitch. But I like them all. They, I think they fit really well. Oh, it's so good. It's like you're playing a movie, and people call it a walking simulator, and it is, but I love horror movies. And to be able to play a horror movie, it, it was just so cool. It made, made me want to see... Well, it actually, seeing the fixed camera angles is what I originally wanted for Resident Evil 7 before it was announced. I was like, this is how they could do Resident Evil 7. This looks gorgeous. But it also made me want to see other horror games adapted, or other horror movies adapted into games. Where you can make the own, your own choices, so you're not like, hey, you should have went that way. Like, you now can. Whoa. Oh, I want pizza too, Wolf, Wolf, Waffle Boy Zach. That sounds great right now. I might actually go make a pizza later, depending on how long this goes. And I'll share it with you guys. We're all, we're all 300 people here. I'll share a pizza with you guys. If we ever do a meetup, pizza's on me. I hope you like little C, though. It's, it's cheap and it's delicious. I'm not picky. Ooh, I like this song. This is my jam. It slaps. Oh, now I can't fly. You made a worm. Ouch. Totino's. Totino's. I want to get sponsored by Totino's. I'll promote the hell out of that. Can you guys help me get sponsored by Totino's? Just tell them I'm like the coolest streamer ever and uh, it would it, you would buy a bunch of Totinos if I was sponsored. Thank you guys. I appreciate you all. I suppose I could probably try to reach out to them and ask. I haven't done that yet. Every stream, Totinos. And G Fuel. Alright, we're going to the submarine, everybody. Let's get those yellow submarines in the chat. Making your own pizza rolls would probably be really good. Get off me, piece of shit! Ah! Whoa! I could take them all, but I don't want to waste my ammo. This game, you actually need to save your ammo. And right now, it's fairly easy. We're good. Hi, Meta. Steve? How the hell did she hear him? Alright, I probably should have killed them. He's gonna die. 300 people here, guys. Thanks for going by. I will say, it does look clean on this. It looks nice. It looks polished. Textures need some work, but it's much snappier than I thought it would be. Oh, my feet! Their heads look like pizza rolls. Speaking of pizza rolls. This is shit. Margarita pizza is alright, but every time I eat it, I'm like, yeah, this is fine, but it just teases me for an actual pizza, you know? Yeah, 
nice suffering. It's fine. Okay, I don't remember it. I gotta look. He's gonna die. Shit. Tank. Tank. Got it. Oh shit, that's not it. Oh god. Think. Okay, I thought. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I thought I had I it. I thought, close, I thought I was DNF. But I found something, thanks to you. You're welcome. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. Come on! I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. What if I wanted Let's him to die? I'll trade you for something fully automatic. I need them. See you around, Claire. Adios. Yeah, more of uh, Laura Croft's hey, long lost hey. sister, Claire. Yeah. Uh, we played, Corey and I played Dino Crisis 1 on Twitch years ago, probably right before the Road to Village. Um, I think we almost got through it. It's up on the channel, I believe. You can go watch it. But uh, I don't know, we're waiting for the right time. Don't worry. It'll be coming. So many games, so many people have been requesting will be coming. <gasps> My feet! Did you just dodge a bullet? Holy shit! Redfield! How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. We deal out in the chat. <laughs> I am Alfred Hell yeah. Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. Woo! How dare you? Got him. Claire with the fucking burns. The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. He was better than you. Now tell me, why? I mean, he did shoot first, so she had to send that sick burn on him. Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. He speaks funny. I, I think that's how British people talk. You. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T virus was released, creating nice white pants and her. zombies <laughs> and monsters. Thanks, Kenny. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. <laughs> You're just a rat in a cage anyway. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Dispose of you. <laughs> <laughs> Wobble Boy Zach with a two dollars super chat. Thank you so much for your support, man. I appreciate that. Peanut butter and JJ sandwich. That sounds nasty. Let's go. All right, now I can finally get out of here. Alfred uses a sniper rifle indoors. Ashford, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And he still can't hit. He sucks. I wonder why he gets picked on. Get off my hand! Piece of shit. Give me this. It's ID card. Oh yeah, I might need that later. I don't remember. Whee! See ya. Whee! Stupid dogs. With that laugh is Alfredo and... 
Tess Riddle. Yeah, he's got a good laugh. It's definitely iconic. Tee -hee. Hand it. Those are bad puppies. They get hit with a bullet. Might need that. I wish I knew this game like the back of my hand, like one, two, and three. I don't though. That's why I wanted to come back and play this. I don't have any space. Yeah, I do. My shoulder hurts. Yeah, it there we go. Nasty jukes. Hell yeah, they're dirty. Holy crap, guys. We already hit 200 likes. It just started not long ago. Thank you. Seriously, where does Claire keep all those items? In her pockets, dude. She's got pockets in her shirt. She's got pockets in her pants. She's got lots of pockets. If they remake this game, they'll give her a fanny pack like they did in 2 Remake. Everybody needs a fanny pack. It's good for holding extra items. Very convenient. Look at this. Now oh, she's got a satchel. Where's the fanny pack? I just put it on. You can't spell anymore and I can't talk anymore. Why is everybody's names colored? On one screen, everybody's names are colored and on the other, none of them are. That's so odd. I was just wondering, like, this isn't Twitch. Why does everybody have different colored names? Like, I know mods and members have different colors, but everybody has different colors here. That's weird. Whoa, I shot the wall. I need a save room. Like most women do in this. I feel like it's all sweaty and gross. Bats! I'm gonna need some space. No, I'm good. We're good. Switching over though. It's gonna get sticky up here. Hey, Nero Redwood with a $5 super chat, and I like your display picture, Nero. Hey, everyone. Hope you are having a great day. I need to play this, but work has caused me to become unmotivated to play games. That's the worst. When work beats you down to the point where you can't just enjoy your time. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'll play it for you, though. No, eat them, Atazuken. Don't save them. What are you saving them for? You, you'll buy yourself time to go buy more later when you have time. I got pizza rolls. I'm going to make those. Uh, uh, no, I might make a pizza. Probably going to make a pizza. I forgot to eat before I went live. I was busy. Watched Home Alone. That was, that's always a good movie. I actually haven't watched that since uh, like a year or two ago. That's a great movie. Home Alone 1. It's like a perfect family holiday movie. I wanted to watch Die Hard, but they removed it. So now you gotta pay to watch it. Cause my daughter's like, what's good, uh, what's good Christmas movies? And I said, well, Die Hard. And my wife's like, that's not a Christmas movie. I was like, yeah, it is. It takes place during Christmas. There's a Christmas party. And then she didn't believe me. And she looked it up and she's like, oh, yeah, it is. And then after my daughter went to bed, I was like, you want to watch Die Hard? And she's like, yeah. And then we went and looked it up. Can't watch it. Unless you pay. That's bullshit. That movie should be free in December. I don't have Hulu. I didn't know it was on, it didn't say it was on Hulu. That sucks. Home Alone's great. It is a Christmas movie. I never questioned that. Did somebody else? Because they're wrong. Send food. Get off me! Get away from my toesies! Pray and pray, baby. Fucker. Give me that. 
If I could give it to you, thank you. It's all good. We watched uh, Spick San Andreas. I guess I never seen that. I thought I did, but I didn't. It's okay. I mean, it's very over the top and fake, but yeah, it's whatever. It's not Christmas. Not a Christmas movie at all. Christmas Story is the best, and I have to watch that sequel that just came out. I gotta watch that. I'm saving that actually for Christmas. That was like a tradition. That's my dad's favorite Christmas movie. So every time we go over to his family's house, that's their whole tradition. They all watch that movie. Or whenever I go to his house, that movie's on. I don't know how much he actually watches it. He must watch it a lot because whenever I go over there, it's on. I told him, I was like, you know, there's a sequel out for that. And he's like, I know I don't have HBO. Just get it, you cheap bastard. I actually just realized that tonight when I was going through Christmas movies, it's like, oh, Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. That's a must. I don't care what you say about the Tim Burton movies. I liked them. I liked them a lot, actually. Now, the other Batman movies, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, I loved them when I was a kid. And whenever somebody says they're trash, I'll say, well, they might be trash, but as a kid, they're awesome. I think they're made for kids. Batman Returns for this Christmas. That's a really good idea. You can't go wrong with that. All the villains in those movies, uh, the Joker, Catwoman, uh, freaking Penguin, da uh, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Yeah, for some reason that didn't sound right. He freaking kills it as the Penguin. They all kill it as their characters. But Danny DeVito, who's normally the funny guy, always sunny in Philadelphia. He's a great actor. And he's really freaking good in Batman Returns. Like, scary good. Yeah, Elf is a good one. Grinch is a good one. My daughter's actually, for school, they're going to see Elf this weekend. Uh, and so I want to take her to see it. They were going to a movie, and I was like, I hope they don't take you to see Avatar 2, because I want to take you to that. And they're taking her to see Elf, which is very fitting. But I want to go see Avatar 2 this weekend. Bad Dougie. <laughs> Danny DeVito kills a guy in the ring? What? I don't think this goes here. I gotta pee really bad. In real life. Okay, I'm gonna go to the save room and grab my fern. I'm gonna save planes, trains, and automobiles. Except for one scene. The scene where Steve Martin blows up the uh, auditor. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. The trash man. <laughs> yeah, the trash man. Danny DeVito. Whenever, uh, <laughs> Whenever I used to have garbage in my truck, like I was just like always at work and when I'd finish a water bottle, I'd throw it on the ground or when I finished eating chips, I'd throw it on the ground and Corey got in my truck and a bunch of garbage fell out and he's like, oh my God, are you going to pick up this, this, this mess in here? And I was like, I know I didn't have time, man. I'm always busy. And he's like, you're like the trash man. I was like, that's what they call me. They call me the trash man. And, uh, he bagged it all up and threw it in the back of my truck. And as I was driving down the highway, the bag exploded and trash went everywhere. I felt bad because I don't like littering, but it happened, right? And I was like, yeah, people call me the trash man. Now I try to take care of my garbage right away. Hey, Nero Redwood, again with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much for that incredibly generous super chat, man. I appreciate that. I'm excited for Dead Space Remake. Hope it lives up to the hype until Kalisto, unlike Kalisto. Also profile pick is Commander Follick from Signalus. That's, yeah, eight foot tall robot mom. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good game. I gotta finish that. I, I got a headache last time I played, and I don't think it was a game. But I, I will finish it at some point, and I recognized it from that. I gotta grab that fern. Shit. I didn't realize I was on that low caution. Let's save. Making decent progress tonight. Uh, Nero donating a fourth a tank of gas right now. You risky chicken. 
I think Corey said it went really far down. Last time he said he checked, it was like 270 something, which is lower than it's been in like two years. That's nuts. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that, man. I love hanging out with you guys every Sunday, Friday. Always a good time. You guys encourage my obsession with playing Resident Evil games, so thank you for um, being my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My, um, oopsies. My enablers. Thank you for being my Resident Evil enablers. I gotta pee, I'll be right back, guys. If anybody joins, let them know I'll be right back. You guys can talk to Chair. Chair's pretty cool. This one's a little extreme. It's got graffiti all over it, so it's a little on edge, but yeah. I'll be right back. Ow, my finger. Chair. Back. Thank you for your patience. Didn't lose anybody. Appreciate that, guys. I, don't, I think it'll probably be two years before Silent Hill 2 remake comes out. Like an easy two years. They showed that off like super early in development. I actually watched a lot of the. Um, I actually watched a lot of the uh, leaked. Or not leaked. It's just like the footage they're working on. It's very early. Freaking card. That's what I needed. I don't need it anymore, I don't think. Okay, what do we got? We are ready to rock and roll. Yeah, there's the code right on the back. Look how clean that is. NTC0394. Who's that guy? Alright, we gotta move. Who's from the future? What was Chair saying about me? Talking shit again? Piece of shit. Yeah, Siren Games. We actually, I think we played that when Beggy and Tony were up. We played a little bit of it. It was good. Let's go to the casino. Oh, it's still locked. No, it's not. It's locked. I like your chocolate doors. They should have started with one. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, man. Why jump right to two? Like, for Resident Evil, it made sense because they already remade one. For for Silent Hill, like, you forgot a game. What are you doing? I think I had to go back. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I had to go back. I got it. We got to get out of here. Let's go. What's going on, we miner? Where am I? Where are you, JJ? 
I'm I I'm existing in 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 space in a different timeline from everybody. I gotta move. We can't get eaten by dogs. Oh, I got up the stairs! Bad dog. Oh. Yeah, Silent Hill 1 needed it more. Are you sure I'm from planet Earth? I never said I streamed from planet Earth. Who said that? Uh, they're still working on the fan remakes. I actually just showed the demo. I showcased the demo on the Residents of Evil channel. We got a tremor! Whoa, look at that big boy. Yucky. Stick your finger in it. Hey, SCP, how's it going? Thanks for coming by. Whoa! Big boy! I'm out of here. Maybe they'll go back to it if Silent Hill 2 does well, yeah. That was interesting, though, that they just jumped right to I mean, it's the most popular, I get that, but... You're forgetting the game, guy. You can't just forget a game. Especially if Silent Hill 1 goes hand-in-hand -hand with Silent Hill 3. What do you finish Silent Hill 2 and you're like, okay, well now what? Now you gotta go back to 1. Should've just started with 1. Shut the door on me. Chair said, Chair wants a Resident Evil Outbreak remake. I agree. Chair and I see eye, eye to eye on that. Dude, this guy's a terrible shot. Look at that. I'm right in front of him and he's using a freaking rifle with a scope. A big dummy. Ow! Fuck, I was just on fine. Piece of shit. Have a good night, Baz. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Give me your, your G Fuel. I want all your G Fuel. Now. Hell yeah. Everybody say good night to Baz. Save room. Uh, will I ever add merch? Of a picture of a chair? Do you guys want merch of my chair? Sure, limited time. You just gotta be there when it happens. And I'll probably only sell three of them and then I'll never sell it again. That's another thing too, is like with Resident Evil 3, with the, like, to me personally, like all the perfected game elements and mechanics. Why do they get rid of like the, why do they get rid of the gunpowders and stuff? I thought that was super cool. I don't, I don't know why they did away with that. Oh, that's that guy's pills. I gotta bring them back. Let's go give that guy his pills. We'll go around and then we'll come back. Hey, put a helmet on, Claire. Claire, put a helmet on. That'd be funny. I won't let me put a helmet on. Oh, you don't have any G Fuel bass? I'm sorry to hear that. You should get some. Whoa! That mouse just got sandwiched. Consider the area really? you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Super cool. Please try and keep me amused. And do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> I like his laugh. He's good. He's amusing. You can recite this dialogue? Hell yeah. Open the door. Dolphin laugh. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I'm gonna kick the door in. Do you want to play a game? That's how I was gonna say it feels like Saw. I think that's just how he sounds. He sounds like a dolphin. I need to save. I can't. I can't. Just make sure I don't die here. He's a character. I like that. He's, he sticks out because he's so, like, unique. Like, you can clearly tell this guy's, uh, he's got some issues, right? 
That's a good enemy. And he's a shitty shot. Except he did hit me. That did happen. That was a thing that happened. <laughs> That's my impersonation. Here comes Handy Man. Take my strong hand. I used to love the scary movies, dude. They came on at the perfect time for me. I was in like middle school and I died laughing every time they came on. I think I watched them recently and I was like, oh, okay. You know, it was the time. You had to be there. My, my mental state, I don't know if it's still funny. I'd have to watch it again. It's been a while. Hey, thank you, Effie No More. Have a good night. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you in a future stream. Did I put him back in the chest? I don't think I did. Stupid JJ, stupid JJ. Bander bitch. I'm gonna use that shit out of them. Never mind. Bander bitch. I hate the bander snatches. I think they're stupid. Stretch Armstrong enemies. It's fucking dumb. Whoa! They suck. Ouch. Yeah, we're good. Later, Gator. Ouch! Cheap! Cheap bitch! He's dead. Beat the game. Shit. Bander snatches. Yeah, why well, aren't they called bander stretches? That makes more sense. Ow! Steve! My donkeys! Put that down. Put me down! Fuck yeah. Oh, he landed on the glass. Steve, you're a badass. No, end him. Oh, he ain't even fucking looking. They don't run out of ammo. Hasta luego. <laughs> oh yeah, that felt good. Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. They're dumb. Give me them. You wish. But thanks for the help. See? What a chat. This chat's. is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here. Take these. Machine Uzis. guns? For me? You know the deal. In exchange for your Lugers. Shooting two <laughs> fully automatic. Okay. okay. They'd go everywhere. <laughs> you would be able to control them. <laughs> Decorative but cool. deadly. Yes. Now this is my oh, kind yeah, of weapon. Yeah, that felt good. All right. He's a fucking psychopath. Huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. They're flirting. Ow! My back. You just called her fat. You're heavier than you look. Ah. Hurry up! <laughs> Big chunk. That's not how you flirt with girls, Steve. You don't call them fat. Happy now? What? Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Whatever. As if. Oh god. I died to Amora. It's and these motherfuckers and anything else in Code Veronica. Okay, they suck. let's toots. do it. Wait here, Claire. Wait here, toots. I'll take Time care of them, sugar tits. Time to test out my new toy. <laughs> oh yeah, I get to play a sim now. Uh, Bye. Uh, All right, and across the way. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. 
my... No! I'm not good at dodging. Holy shit! That was fucking cool! Is this isn't even his final form. Too soon, too soon. They weren't even worth wasting the ammo needed to kill them. I've been waiting for you, milady. Oh. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? He's got he's a psychopath. He's the villain of this game. And at the end, he'll try to kill you. Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! Holy shit! All the way. Steve. Never mind. Let's get going. Shock you? Sorry. I had to come back through here. Steve reminds me of a serial killer. See ya. Watch what I can do. Never mind. I don't get the right card. You never seen that scene before? No shit. We're gonna fall down now. Well, this is the saddest part of the game. Claire, are you okay? I cry every time. Steve, behind you. No. no. What's wrong, Steve? Shoot him! That's his dad. Wait! I... I can't! I can't. No! Steve! <clears throat> this is heartbreaking. Father! 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 Holy shit, he's not even looking where he's shooting! Oh my god! Now he's out. I cry every time. Please, everybody, don't cry. Steve. Be stronger than that. JJ versus pizza. I'm gonna smash. Win. Father. Father. You did the right thing. Father. You could have killed Claire there, dude. He wasn't even looking where he was shooting. <laughs> Dad, Please don't cry. You're so ugly when you cry. Used to work for Umbrella. Tried to steal information. Intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. He was caught. Mom was killed. And we were sent here. Oh, Steve. He was a fool to do something so reckless. So stupid. You're fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Waffle Boy Zack, be happy you had a dad to kill. Jeez. It's okay. That's pretty fucking dark, dude. Just rest. I'll do all the heavy lifting. Like always. Just looking for some ammo. Your dad got some ammo on him? Let me check him. Nope, he got no ammo. 
All right, it was worth a try. See you. Oh, I forgot to mention, this game has, the, the soundtrack of this game is fire, dude. It is so freaking good and underrated, like the game. Like, really good. Give me space do I got? Oh, never mind. I need this. We have to come back. That's alright, we gotta come back here anyways. I got pills. Should I take them? You clip? What did you clip? You're, you're... Oh, you see, has a father to kill? Fucking A. Look on the bright side. Right, we should probably switch over. I need to save some of this. And I'm getting some decent pistol ammo. That's pretty good. I know this game heals and stuff. It gets a little tricky. Is that a bottle of G Fuel in your inventory? You're goddamn right. I always have G Fuel on me. You never know when you're going to get sleepy. Can't remember which floor I got to go to. I'm going to go to two. 250 likes. That's normally our goal for a four-hour stream. And we hit it in an hour and 40 minutes. God damn it, guys. Pat yourselves on the asses. You did it. We hit our light goal. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Okay, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to get ammo in here. Save room theme. Other than the rest, I... Oh, you could have... No, they're really... This soundtrack is really good. And it's... it's it, it fits, like, the tone of this game super well. It's, like, very Resident Evil, but different. Like, much more... That's what I'm looking for. Um, on, a, on a more epic scope, I guess? I don't know. It's hard to explain. Let the cheek slap and commence. Hell yeah. Since we hit the light goal in like less than two hours, let's see how high we can go tonight. If you're new watching, thank you for coming by. If you enjoyed, please hit that like. I want to see if we can set a new record. But was okay turning him into Swiss cheese? Well, you know, he just had to let some anger out. Steve's got some problems. We'll let him figure it out on his own. I'd rather him do that without me being there. Arr. Burr. Oh, that's where I got to go use that. Over here. Father. Where's my dad? I don't know. I'm sorry. Who doesn't pat their own ass from time to time? That's how you know you did it. You got every once in a while, you got to give yourself a good old pat on the ass. You did it. Set your cheeks down. Boom! Every time Andy did the during his stream, it's so weird because he, he just kept doing it, but every time he did it, I did it. It's that zombie, that It's very iconic. I think we need to make a melody out of that. It's catchy, is it not? I don't have the right key card. Shit. Which one is that? Biohazard card. Check it. Shove her in. It's blue! Oh, sorry, it's silver. My bad. I'll come back for you, grenade launcher. Ain't no way a few of those bullets don't hit her. Probably dead. She's probably dying. Get your hat shot off, because you don't don't split in this game. What the fuck? Get off me! Why are you invincible? 
Holy shit, Nero Redwood again with another $10 super chat. Thank you so much again, Nero. MVP, appreciate you, man. Says, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm very mixed on my thoughts on Belooper developing Silent Hill 2 Remake. I am holding them high to high expectations. They are technically remaking the best game in the series. Same, 100% <laughs> the same. I've seen their games, they're fine, but they are nowhere near on the caliber I would expect from a Silent Hill 2 Remake. That's like a bigger undertaking than the, like, to many, not uh, not me, because I love Resident Evil 2, but to many, that's a bigger undertaking than the Resident Evil 2 remake. Woo, good luck, guys. I really hope you don't fuck this up. I'm doing good, DJ. How you doing? Thanks for coming by, man. But yeah, I mean, Silent Hill 2 is, is so full of metaphors and nuances and, and hidden meanings. Like, you really got to understand it to do it. And you have to have the talent. I'm sure they're getting talent from PlayStation. I'm sure they're getting the best of the best but man and the trailer looked great but i just hope man i hope i hope they got her we gotta go the other way andy makes my day when you are not streaming jj that makes me happy to hear that uh you can go hang out with other members of the row and uh you enjoy watching their streams i watch his streams i watch Baggy's streams when i can i watch tony's and andy's streams when i can it's fun to to get the other personalities of the row here, and I'm glad other people are enjoying it. I'm glad you're doing good. All right, we gotta go the other way. I went through the wrong door. I think, I don't know. Second floor. We gotta go out the front where the big worm is. Making old school zombie noises is funny, but I think that's the most iconic of them. It's got a melody to it, you know what I mean? I'm gonna make a new theme where it's just that over on repeat. Do, 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 do. It'd be catchy. I think this is the floor. Hell yeah, Sir Adazukin. I'm gonna hire somebody to come by when I stream just to make pizza rolls when I'm hungry. Oh, call me Olu973 with a very generous $10 super chat. Thank you so much, call me Olu. I appreciate that. JJ, what's good, my dude? Glad to see you playing this finally. Let's go, Row Squad. Hell yeah, it was a long time coming, man. And I'm glad to also be finally playing it, and I'm glad to have you here. Thank you for that support, dude. Everybody clap those cheeks in the chat for call me Olu. I will call you Olu going forward. There we go. Now I'm where I need to go. Get out of here, dog, you bastard. I wanted those arrows, but I don't got any space. Woo! Missed me. Oh, no, you bitch! Observer, yeah, I played uh, Blair Witch. I played um, the other one there. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm on danger. Blair Witch played Layers of Fear. Played Blair Witch Layers of Fear. I don't think I played Medium. Then play I played uh Observer. I might have played a little bit of. I don't know. Hey, Bacon and Grits just gifted one Rose Squad Mercenary membership. Thank you so much, Bacon and Grits, for your support. Grow the Mercs. Let's welcome our new member, Kitty to the Rose Squad Mercs. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Member number three tonight. All right, we gotta shut this alarm off. It's annoying. The medium, yeah. I was excited for that, and then I found out you, there was no combat, and I was like, eh, eh. Some games without combat are fun. It was fixed, dynamic fixed camera angle, so that was, that's dope. Bad Dougie. Get Does it? Britney Spears' Toxic song goes well with the zombies, that zombie audio. Oh, probably. I gotta check that out. You're toxic, something, something, something. But the case does something, something. That song's in. I'm a DJ to you, cause you know that you're toxic. That song's right on the tip of my tongue. I can almost remember all the words. As a kid, I had two older boy cousins, which are Corey's brothers, got me into Resident Evil. 
then I had two older girl cousins got me into Sims and Dino Crisis. And so my variety of music is ICP, Rob Zombie, from this side, and then the other side is very uh, Britney Spears, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys from this side. So my my whole like upbringing, right, is like on both ends. I like a little bit of everything. There we go, now I can get in here. Oven is better than a microwave, but it is way less convenient. The convenience goes right out the fucking window. Sim, yeah, they uh, the, they got me into all the simulator games, not just the Sims, but they got me into uh, Roller Coaster Ty Tycoon was fire, dude. I love that game. We'd make the craziest roller coaster, and then it would just run out of track, so they'd just go like off the edge of it. It was nuts. They got me into RPGs too. All right, we got a freaking. We got too much shit. I gotta get to a save room. I gotta remember where it's. Did I just hear ICB? Yes, the Great Malenko. I remember there was quite a bit. They got me into. Corey's brothers got me into rap too. Microwave gang. Everybody says that the, the um, what is that called? I'm blanking. The um, air fryers are the best thing ever. Corey's actually getting an air fryer for Christmas because it's so good. I think I have one, but I don't. I never used one. I don't. I don't know how they work. I think my wife uses it, but it's supposed to be way better than a microwave. I gotta get to a save room. I think I gotta go on the third floor. My weekend was great, man. It was very enjoyable. How was yours? Second floor. Yeah, see the master of unlocking. Another person that 100% recommends air fryer. I gotta figure out this freaking air fryer, man. I've heard nothing but good things. Can I ditch this thing now? Hey, Christopher Carverelli with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Christopher, for your support. Uh, hope you have a nice Sunday night stream. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the stream. I'm going to hit some buttons. And it. Best thing you'll ever eat, man. Oof. Oof. One, one, two, six. Got it. You can eat fried stuff without having food sopping with oil. That's amazing. That's amazing. Because oil's good, but too much oil, it ruins it. Get your ass back down. I need this herb. Can't take it. How are you not dead? save room? I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't want to go to work today either. And work sucks. I know. She left me roses by the stairs. Alright, save room. Thank God. Making some decent progress. I think everybody has said good things about hair fryers. All right, we're gonna drop this stuff off. I gotta go return the pills to my boy because he's gonna save me later. He already saved me. Probably do that next. Don't need that yet. Gonna need those soon. I'll probably plug those in on my way. They're not on my way. Let's go uh, bring the pills to, I forget his name. I wanna grab this herb though, I'm gonna need it. This week's work schedule. Ugh, work. 
Surprises let me know she cares. Say it ain't so, I will not go. Turn the lights off, carry me on. Now that song is gonna be stuck in my head. And that's okay. Drop off that G Fuel. I'm gonna go drop it off. I put my buffalo chicken wings in the air fryer. Oof. Yeah, because when you microwave chicken wings, they're still fine, but they're not near as good as when they're first cooked. I actually like my chicken wings. Like, if I'm gonna buy frozen and eat them, I like them a little less juicy and a little more overcooked. I like them a little crispy. I don't like juicy buffalo wings. It, to me, they taste undercooked. That's all good, James. But I get, and, and you know, you've already subscribed at one point in time. You've already supported. If you can't, totally fine. Never feel obligated. Ooh, air fry toaster oven. I think I actually had that. I didn't know what that thing was called, but it's probably an air fryer. It's a little mini uh, oven. It's very good. It's when I cook all my pizza in. Cooks way faster than the oven. How far did Andy get? I think he got to uh, freaking Nosferatu in this. Yeah, he was he was putting in some good distance when he was streaming it. Oh, call me Olu, Olu. Thank you for that very generous $10 super chat. Another super chat, I appreciate that a ton, man. CV has the best save room theme. I downloaded it on YouTube just so I can listen to it whenever. Man, it's fucking fire. Like I was saying earlier, it's definitely in the top five save room themes of all time. And I wanna to put together a save room tier list so I can actually like, cause to me two is the best. But Code Veronica is, is really good. What would be the best save room theme of all time? It's up there though, thank you for that man. And then Blue, Blue Inferno 7688 with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Blue Inferno. I appreciate that support, dude. It says, listening to you play while painting. Ooh, what are you painting? I, uh, I miss doing actual physical art. Now I scratch my art itch. Oh shit. I scratched my itch with um, graphic design and video editing. But I used to do painting, I used to do charcoal, I used to do graphite, I used to do colored pencil, I used to do acrylic, I used to do oil painting. I used to do all of it. And I love just like turning your brain off and just going in, in. you know what I mean? Like when you, when you do art and you like doing art, there's a certain point like where you start it where you're like, oh, I don't want to start it because it's going to take forever. And then you get going and you're like, okay, this is fine. But then you hit like this zen. Right? And when you hit that zen and you just get into it, it's hard to explain uh, how nice that is. Seth Liller with a $1 super chat. Nothing to say, just showing the support. Thank you so much, Seth. I appreciate that, man. Golden Eye has a dope save. It does. Hey, you got an achievement. Duty and humanity. What are you Trophy doing earned. Here? Bro, you got a freaking samurai edge? What you got there? Hand it. Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. You're lucky in an Thanks. Edom. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my This gives brother, me an idea. A painting stream video. Thanks. That is a great idea. If you can mix Here, your passion you of painting and your passion of you hanging out with people. You did it, man. Now go. And it doesn't matter if there's two, three people Don't there. As long as you're there to watch that, that's all you need. Took my freaking lighter. Give me that back. All right, I got a lockpick. We're good. Let's go hit up the mansion, and then we'll uh, go continue the progress. We gotta get our pistol out. I have the same pistol. I actually don't like Claire's gun in Resident Evil 2. I think that gun's like kind of ugly. 
It's like a 1911, but not. I can't think of what the name is offhand. But this, this Beretta is nice. I love 1911. It's like a bastard child, but 1911. I know I'm going to piss off a ton of gun people with that. I'm sorry. It's ugly. Happy holidays, DJ. I just learned graphic design by doing, yeah. And my art teacher in school was very encouraging and let me do some of my projects as graphics, which there wasn't really a thing for it then. And god damn, my graphics were terrible then. I'm probably gonna look back on my graphics in 10 years and think that the graphics I do now are terrible, but that's just the progression of art. That's how you learn and get better. God, they're so bad. I remember using Bleeding Cowboy as a font for one of them. <laughs> Bleeding Cowboy is like Comic Sans. It's just so ugly. Don't do it. How do you pay your membership? How do you pay your membership? Um, are you talking about the mercenaries? I think it's monthly. So you pay a month, and then if you want to continue paying a month, you continue, and if you don't want, you cancel. I think that's how it goes. Is that what you're asking? Whoa, banner bitches! You're in my way. See ya. The Deagle. That's that's a that's a fantastic gun. Yeah, that's such an interesting gun too. The way it's built, the way it looks, it's just it looks like a powerhouse. It's different, but I like it. You can get a deagle in 45, you can get a deagle in 9, you can get a deagle in 50. Deagles are sweet. Whoa. Whoa. My god, I completely agree. I'm also self-taught in design and I die of cringe every time I see my first stuff. Yes, Adominus. You know how it is, man. But you had to do that to get to where you are. You'll never be perfect. Nobody is. You learn as you go. Oh, shit! Well, thank you, Seth. Let's see, are we on caution? We're good. Eat this burn. Where's my art people in the chat? I'm sure a lot of people here are artists. There we go. We can open that now. Blue oh, didn't mean to grab that. Lugers. Plug that in. You're self-taught everything. Yeah, and see, I think the thing, a lot of people, a lot of people give up on art because they feel like everybody's got to teach them how to do it. But if you really like art, and it doesn't matter music, video, graphics, actual, like, uh, drawing, um, you'll figure it out. Like, that's the thing, when, when you're really passionate about something, you don't need somebody to teach you how to do it. You'll you'll figure out how to do it. And if you really don't know, you'll find a way to look it up. You'll self-teach yourself by trial and error. Like, you just learn. And the people that get out of it because nobody's helping them, maybe they weren't, maybe it wasn't for them. You know, I don't know. Everybody learns different, though. Hey. Mmm, pizza bites are delicious. Yes, they are. All right, we got some high capacity. I didn't get the bogan yet. I gotta go get that. Video games are, yes they are. Developing video games, that's art. Everything is art. There we go. No, I didn't mean to equip that. There we go. There we go. I think that's the only like uh, thing you can either equip or use in a Resident Evil game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that uh, I think that's the very interesting one that is an item and a weapon at the same time. But my hands are no good at making it drawing wise. And that's the thing too is like you can be like if you if you can visualize things really well, but your hands can't do it, you can get into a different medium. Uh, me, I I, I hear sounds in my head or I see something edited away or I have a picture of something in my head and it drives me absolutely crazy that I got to get it out somehow and so like my outlet was like 
either art, drawing, or or graphics. Oh, but I, if I have something, I have to do it myself. And I don't like music, but sometimes when I have music in my head, I gotta like figure out how to get it, get it out. You know what I mean? Like it just drives me nuts until I have something to show for it. And that's why it's hard for me to commission people because like, uh, it's, it's most of the time it's really good. But like if I commission somebody because there's something I just can't figure out, like half the time if I just take the time and do it myself, I'll get it done the way I want it. Like I'll, I'll you gotta express it. You know I don't know. All right, uh, I don't want to save yet. The blue one. We're good. We're good. My voice is my art and creative writing too. That's cool. Beggy just released her uh, original book, and I'm pretty sure Bicken and Grits, you were a part of that. Her original audio story. I started listening to it. It was really good. I'm gonna wait for this week when I got like uh, when I'm at the gym or something. I'm gonna listen to the whole thing. Spooky. Left, right. Uh. Okay, got it. Hey, how's it going, Rob Higgins? Thanks for coming by, man. Red hats are the best. 1972. What year was that, Hanazuki? Now kids. Oh, gross. They're brother and sister. Yuck. Yeah, they did make Claire less of a redhead, but the funny thing is, too, a lot of people don't realize when they originally showcased uh, Leon Kennedy in the cutscenes, he was red hair, too. Oh, 1972 here. Thanks, Hadazuken. Nothing happened. Oh, that's what tells me. I see. Oops, wrong button. I got it. Okay, cool. That's a cool puzzle. I forgot that did that like that. Left is three. Oh, wait. First one is one. Was it 1970? No. Not 1972. Right? Right. I think it's 1973. 1971. Yeah, 1971. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. It's a fun puzzle. There's some things I gotta go take care of before we do this, so. Nice king, who wed a very nasty queen. The king was love, but the queen was beard. Yeah, I'm not going that way yet. Ow, oh, bander bitch! Later. Ouch! Smack my ass. I'm feeling great, Solidus. I love playing this game. And it looks like there's a lot of people that also enjoy this game, which is always awesome. Uh, everybody's here. It's uh, been a good weekend, so I can't complain at all. How was your weekend? Grabbing that herb. I'm gonna save. 
We're back in route to where we were before. JJ, what stars member that didn't live would you like to see a spin-off during the mansion incident? Forrest. Mullet man Forrest. Man the myth the mullet. The Forrest. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see that. He's got such a cool backstory too. Being a sharpshooter. Chris, uh, with Chris, yeah, I would like to see more of him. We have to go get the bow get him too. Hey, it's good to see you here, Rio. Thanks. Glad you enjoy Code Veronica. Oh shit. Thought I got her on him. I'm really bad at dodging in this game. I think I'd learn. Oh, thanks, Riho. I appreciate that, man. I hope you enjoy this stream. Such a fantastic game. Underrated, and especially for me. I like it a lot, and I don't ever play it. I've been itching to get back into it. Shit. You play so stupid, JJ. Enrico. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright, we gotta get back over there. I gotta get those grenade rounds. Finish up what I gotta do over here. We got her. It's gonna get a little sticky, but we got her. I think a lot of people love Code Veronica. Like, it's a lot of people's favorite game. Well deserved. Oh, I thought there was frick. Oh, that's over there on that side. Shit, too late now. Holy fuck, that was close. I'm not going to be able to grab these arrows here yet. Oof. All right, let's go down and grab those, the rest of the grenade rounds and the rest of the stuff in there. Complete this, and then we'll be on our way. Steve's gone. This way. Your second favorite. 300 people here, guys. Thank you for coming by. We just hit 300 likes, guys. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, and I appreciate that. I think that door is locked. I can't remember. Have a great night, Scott. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I hope, man. I hope that Resident Evil 4 is incredible and sells really well. And, uh... Then it opens the door to the potential of a Code Veronica remake because I feel like this game, story-wise, definitely needs it. Mechanically-wise, yes, it's very deserving. It checks all the boxes. The only thing it doesn't check is it didn't sell well when it came out. So it's not a guaranteed. But if the hype is real for Resident Evil 4 and it's making a ton of money, then that would be the best time to do it. I don't know. I'm holding on to hope. We'll see how 4 does. Yeah, this goes back around. Okay, yeah, I got it. I gotta go up. There might be something there I can take. JJ, would you consider playing Resident Evil 5? Of course! If the time is right, I will definitely play it. I really enjoy 5's co-op. The, the only way I'll play it, though, is if it's co-op. I gotta get somebody else to play it with. The game is phenomenal when you play co-op. There we go. Grenade rounds. I'm gonna need those. What's this? Cool, salamander. Ew, I hate those fucking things. We need a Code Veronica remake with a better Steve. <laughs> I mean, they could improve Steve, yeah. I feel like uh, Dark Side Chronicles improved Steve quite a bit. Technically, it has been remade in the form of Dark Side Chronicles, but that's not an actual remake. Just beat that the other day at Eternal. Phenomenal game. Loved it. Really? Oh, now this is a dead end. 
<laughs> I want to play Resident Evil 5 now. I seen you said on Twitter too. Now I want to play Outbreak now. Just seeing it being around it makes you want to play it. I'm the same way. Hearing about it. I think this is a really good December game. I think if we could beat this between now and next week, next week is going to be our... Not next week. Two weeks from now is going to be our Toys for Tots. So that weekend, I'm probably going to take off. But then on the 30th, I would like to play until dawn here. Or the weekend of the 30th. I don't know if that'll be January, but that still is a good time to play it. Mercenaries and co-op is so much fun. We do that in our after parties from time to time. That and uh, raid mode. Raid mode is my favorite bonus mode in any Resident Evil game. It's just so much fun. It took the place of mercenaries. I love raid mode. You still have your Dreamcast? I think between the 64 and the Dreamcast, those are two consoles I really want, but Dreamcast is probably the number one. It was just such a cool system. I really want the Code Veronica Dreamcast. That would be amazing. Oh yeah, not this way. Yeah, Until Dawn is one of my favorites. And it's a perfect uh, winter game to play. So I'd like to close this month out or begin next month with uh, Until Dawn. I I'm sure Corey will want to be here for that too. That's one of his favorites as well. It's coming out. I can feel it. All right, now we can get these nade rounds. Whoa. Dreamcast was so cool. And it had so many good games for it, too. I want to play Soul Calibur again, the old one on Dreamcast. Soul Calibur. That game I beat with every single character. Got all the cutscenes. It was awesome. Ow! Shit. Let me just get back out here real quick. Let's uh, redo that. I gotta get the grenade rounds for them. Where are we at? Yeah, we're good. Famous last words. It should still hold up. It had the, a graphic style that was very like, like it seems like it would hold up pretty well. Can't. Yeah. Yes, we'll play Alone in the Dark. We have a new series coming up on the row that we're gonna be introducing in a couple months. Retro Evil, where we go back through all the PS1 survival horror games and PS2 survival horror games. Oh, okay. You can't do this yet. I gotta come back through here. I gotta go do the other things first, if I remember correctly. So let's just get the hell out of here before I get spanked again. Ugh! Daymare 98's been out for a long time. I have a full playthrough on the row of that. It's pretty good. I had to get back into the other side. Oh, there's some explosive rounds up there. All right, let's just go. Let's go make some progress. I think this is the right way. I gotta get back into the building. I just wanna get those grenade rounds. I remember this game super difficult too. This is right up there with the most difficult Resident Evil games. This and Resident Evil Zero. Zero is tough. I know, Big Daddy Girl. I agree. It's a must. Especially when you get, like I said earlier, like it's cleaned up. You got trophies. Like that's so cool. Oh, no way. Xbox hater. Well, that sucks, man. I've had that happen before though. This way. All right, we got the thing we wanted. Now we'll go back down, get the bow gun. I think I'm gonna get a decent ways tonight. I don't know how far, but decently far. I wanna at least get out of here to the Arctic. Thanks for coming by though, Empower. All right, now we're back. We did the thing we said we were gonna do, and now we're gonna go through our inventory. I don't need those yet. Gonna need those. 
We don't need to save yet. What other card is that the blue card? Oops. Yeah, it's a blue one. Oh, it's a silver one. Get out of here. Rules at our house as kids. Homework, done before supper, then gaming. There were no negotiate. Yeah, my parents, like, for the majority of the time, they're super strict. But once in a while, they're lenient. And I think it confused me as a kid. Because, like, it would just catch me off guard when they were all of a sudden, like, mad about something. It's one or the other. All right, let's take this herb. Let's dip. Still in caution. Awesome. I remember my dad uh, ripping uh, the cables out of one of my systems. I can't remember which one, but he's like, you got to go to bed now or something. And then he just came over and just pulled it out of the wall. And I was like, what the fuck? I was in the middle of a game. Yeah, they got pretty strict with me. But you got to have rules and you got to follow rules. That's how it goes. I was definitely not following rules. I see it now as an adult. I deserved it. As a kid, I was so pissed off. I think now that we're all getting older, we can kind of see the reasoning for a lot of that stuff that happened. Didn't get it then, but I'm sure we're all coming around to it now. Right at my feet. Holy shit, it's a boss. This is tough because it gets a little tight in here. There's stuff in here, I think. It's up here. Give me the cigarette. Yeah, remember back in the 90s and the early 2000s when everybody had cigarette machines? They're hard to come by now. A relic of the past. Silver key is uh is for the door. Oh, shit. I didn't see there was a second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go back that way. I just want to clear out these rooms. some good stuff I gotta get. Bogan. The bogan actually sucks in this game. In comparison to like Resident Evil 2, it's fucking awesome in Resident Evil 2. It's so weak in this game. Until you get the explosive rounds. What is that? Picture of a pistol? Thank you. Ew, cockroaches came out of him. I love. I got Resident Evil on Sega Saturn. Oh my god, yeah, that's a good one, man. Hold on to that. Oh, shit! Yeah, we're gonna dip. Oh! Danger. Die! Candy cigarettes, so it says. I remember getting those as a kid too, thinking I was so cool. Eating my candy cigarette. Ooh, a sauna. Hell yeah. Sauna. Sauna. Yeah, those are nice. Nice bathhouse. Just looking at one of them. I don't see him. Zombie spa. Yeah, it probably smells like shit in here. They're all soggy.
There it is. Keep with the tag. As much as I don't care for smoking of any kind, I wouldn't mind it as much as they didn't put toxic chemicals in the ones sold in stores. That's how they get you, right? It's addictive. That's why you see me smoking this vape is because I'm trying to get off of the actual cigarettes and now I'm smoking the vape, which is super nice and convenient because I can do it right here in my house while I'm streaming. Probably doesn't look the best, but again, nicotine addiction, but they are just as bad as fucking cigarettes. This thing is more addicting than cigarettes because now I can just do it in my house while I'm streaming. And so it's like I try to get rid of one bad addiction, and now I got two bad addictions. Yeah, it sucks, man. That's the one thing is if nobody smokes, never even start. Just don't even go down that road. It's the worst, man. It's worse than alcohol. It's worse. It's just, uh, it, I wish I would have never started, but you know, the time of my upbringing and the people I were, was around, it was difficult to not. Not an excuse, but it happened. And now I have a nicotine addiction. Yeah, it's the worst, man. If I can kick one thing, it would be that. I own every Resident Evil game on GameCube and Dreamcast as well. That is awesome. Those I got those, luckily, because um, I was working at GameStop. And they were relatively affordable. That's one thing I liked about GameStop is when they started selling retro games, they weren't, like, screwing people over for the prices. They weren't, like, ridiculously high. They're higher, but they were manageable. Vaping is better for me, but it costs me. It's expensive, and it's, I don't know, I feel I find it's more addicting. Because it's so convenient. You hear it, Prophet? Yeah. Sucks, man. It's, uh, two evils. Since July, that is awesome, Prophet. That is really good, man. Congratulations. Yeah, it sucks, man. I would, yeah, I don't know. It's one thing I would never get into if I could go back in time. Hardest addiction I've ever had. I broke it a couple times and then I came right back around. All I know is I could always think of like, what will I do on my breaks? How will I live without cigarettes? And then when I did quit, I was like, oh, everything is just normal. It's fine. I don't have a craving for it. I don't have a need for it. It's amazing. And then I started drinking on vacation with Corey at his house in, in uh, Arizona. And uh, and he offered me a cigarette because those are on cigarettes. And then it was, you just can't get back into it once you do it. Once you quit, you just gotta, you can't. Cold turkey, it's gotta, you just gotta stop. Oh, come on. How much ammo do you take, guy? Get your head not kicked off. Bogan. Oh, it's just explosive around. Where is the bowgun? I thought it was in here. Shit. Can't remember. That's it. All right. We're out of here. Resident Evil 4 remake coming out soon? Uh, yeah, it actually comes out January, February, March. March. Bad Corey. No, it's my fault. I asked him. Can't blame him. Been smoking 13 years ago and still got cravings. Oh man, Solid has still got him. That's 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 the power of nicotine for you. I don't know how we got on this conversation, but goddamn, just don't do it, kids, adults. The only Netflix ad adaptation will encourage anyone to pick up smoking. That's true. That was a pretty shit show. I don't know. Actually, you know, with how deep I am into Resident Evil, how how much I love this series. I watched the first two episodes, and then I started three, I fell asleep, I started again, fell asleep, and I just, like, I don't know if I'm, I'm maturing in my age and with my passion for Resident Evil, but I just, I wasn't interested, and I just lost interest. I was like, I, I don't care to see it any further. I, I just don't care. And I just never watched it since then. And Corey always says, man, you've gotta owe, you owe it to yourself and your community, at least watch it, make up your own mind. And I was like, you're right. And I just never did. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm missing out. I don't feel like I need to. I just don't care. And I don't have much free time. So I'm not going to waste it watching something I'm not interested in. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if you call it Resident Evil. If it's not what I like, I I don't need to watch it. Alright, I just read it. No, I was never big into weed. I smoked it a few times in high school. My friends were... were 
they smoked all the time. And there was a time where I did, you know, like a, maybe once a week for like less than a month. And then uh, it just made me so paranoid. Like it made me so paranoid that it scared me away from it. And there was a few times where I just knew I was going to bed and I smoked it and I was fine. It was actually really nice. I'd lay down, I'd listen to music and I had the best sleep ever. But I just, because of that paranoia, I never felt attached and I never sought it out. And if it was around, I knew that if I was drinking and I smoked weed, I would have that paranoia again. Every time, unless I was going to bed, I would have paranoia if there's people around. And so because of the inconvenience of that, I just never really was into it. And then when I start working at the place I work for, they start testing you and uh, you lose your job if you smoke. So I started working there almost over eight years ago. And I, I don't think I've smoked weed in like seven years. There was one time after my first year I smoked it, but no, no, just not, not for me. Um, but I get it. No, I wish I could because it's legal here. But I can't because of work. I wish I could if I wanted to, like, maybe go to bed or something, but, yeah. All right, I got distracted. Oh, is that that picture, hey? 1126. Yes, let's go. But that's a, that, we use a smell that is very strong. Like, it's hard to get that smell off. Cigarettes are bad. For the smell and weed is weed is strong too. You can smell it from a mile away. I saw a clip on the chick dancing and the singing the Netflix show and I was like, no, but I seen that clip too, and I was like, what the fuck happened in this show? Not interested enough to watch to how we got to that point, but okay. Give me that. I painted this. He did a great job. Oh, it's the chode babies. Get out of here. Hate those fuckers. Nice, the master of unlocking. Good luck, dude. We gotta go. They're everywhere. Ouch. Hey, Nero Redwood again with another $5 super chat. You've been incredibly supportive all night, man, and I appreciate it. I'll read that momentarily. I do not want to die. Never do nicotine pouches unless you have to. I swear it gave me the nasty cavity due to it sitting in your gums and most of the flavor in them. My, uh, yeah, my grandpa used to actually um, have those pouches everywhere, I remember. And uh, he smoked when he was younger, and I just remember him always coughing when he was older because of it. And I know, I just, I don't know, I remember them from him, but I never really got into any of that, thankfully. All right, we got a nice picture. That is a nice picture. I'm going to bring it home. All right, that room's dead to us. We got the bogan. We're going to go to the save room, drop some stuff off. Be on our merry way. Go back over to the house, put the picture on the thing. Yeah, I mean, I will say from the two and a half episodes I watched of the Resident Evil Netflix show, I'll give it the fact that it had some really good animation, or the graphics. The graphics were really good. Nicotine patches, when you try to get uh, quit, give vivid nightmares, just heads up. Ah, interesting. Oh, going to go across the way. I used your g code all the time. I have over 20 tubs to have used that code for all. Oh, thank you so much, Big Daddy Geralt. I appreciate that. Thank you for using our code. It helps us, and it probably saved you a ton of money if you have over 20 tubs. I think I can... I think because G-Fuel sends us some every once in a while when they got something coming out. And I probably have about 30 tubs. It's good to have a variety. That's true, the master of unlocking. You never know. That'll always come in handy at some point. Mango lemonade. Ooh, that sounds good. There's some new flavors they got coming out, too. I had to go back through my messages and read what they were, but they got, they got some bangers coming on. They recently released the Resident Evil Nemesis tea, finally. All right, I don't think we need both. That should be good. I don't think we need to save yet either, but I, some health would be great. This game's pretty low on giving you health. Famous last words. Oh, I did that before Eternal CMO. It was just, oh, I, I puked. I puked. Drink it out of a spit cup. Oh, I've done that more times than I'd like to admit. 
when you're at a party and everybody's got cups, you grab one thinking it was one you just sat down. You're a little intoxicated. I didn't back in high school. And you drink it and it's somebody spit chew. Oh man, that is instant puke for me. That is the the worst. Alright, we gotta get back to the house. Oh god, what a random conversation we went down tonight. Good old times. Oh, you have the original one? Nice. I have a few I haven't opened because they when they sent us those, they sent us like three tubs and like a 12 pack of the Nemesis tea. And I went through half the Nemesis teas and I think we only have about three or four left now. Uh, everybody went through them pretty fast. But I knew I wanted to save some because they ran out. Shit. And, um, shit. Hold on. And uh, the tubs I went through too. So I have one tub and like three or four cans left. Yeah, who puts their spit cups on the drink table? That's disgusting. Fucking gross. Oh, I should have probably saved because now I gotta go up. Big worm's gonna get me. Oh, that was close. Why didn't they name it T Virus? Um. Yeah, there's. What was it? I asked them why they didn't name it the T Virus either. And it was because of COVID. Yeah, because I said I was on a call with the them, and they said because of COVID was going around, um, virus was like a no-no for names, and so because of that, because they thought T virus too, they're like, oh yeah, no, virus, COVID, no, we're not doing that. But that's why they missed that golden opportunity. Oh, well, I'm gonna die. I gotta get up these stairs. At least it's not dogs. I can take zombies in here. That's fine. I hit one of them somewhere. Danger. All right, we're good. Forgot I had that. There's one up here I didn't kill. Right, just lay back down. I love how he like was like he was stretching, and he's like, I'm just gonna lay back here. Yeah, when he told me that too, I was like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. We're gonna save because it's been a while, and I have a bad feeling about what's to come. Still got a decent ways to go though. I want, I want to at least get to flying out of here. I hope they don't cut spiders. I think Resident Evil 4 might be more faithful than 2 and 3 both were. So we'll see. I'm going to grab this for the bandersnatches. Shove them in there and we're good to go. Uh, okay, so just going back through because like I said, I don't know this game as much as I know one two three I got to rethink about where I'm going what I'm doing. I Got the picture the picture goes in here. I gotta go downstairs It's it's fun Not playing a Resident Evil game like taking a long break because then when you go back through it You like re-experience a lot of what made it special the first time you played it you forget, you have to relearn. But for streaming purposes, it, it can definitely be frustrating for viewers to see you backtrack where you don't need to go, do things you don't need to do. Um, Corey and I were actually just having a pretty good discussion about that the other day, how he doesn't play near as much as me. So he forgets like stuff from his favorite games, like three. He's like, I was watching you play three the other night and you were going through rooms I don't even remember. And like, that's awesome because you get to experience it again. But I play it now decently regular enough that I pretty much remember everything. Is it in here? It's not in here. It's going the wrong way. It's over in the other side. See, now I'm forgetting. Shit. But uh, I still got to go through here and there's stuff I got to do. Juggle them. Yeah, we got to go 
entirely different feeling no matter how many times you play 4. Yeah, 4 is, four is such a good game for replayability. Alright, yeah, we don't need to be in here. We just gotta go back out to where I was. I was stupid to come in here. I forgot. And we have to get to the room with the picture. Oh, the fire extinguisher for Alaska. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder because I would have forgot. Good call. I hate these banner snatches. I got the grenade launcher now. I can get rid of them. Oh, man. Going through the emotions. So, number one, if you are going through those emotions, that is not something to joke about. Number two, there's many reasons to not do that family, friends, and if you don't have family or friends, like, I, I know things can seem very tough, especially when you hit your low, your rock bottom, right? Like, you feel like no matter what, you just don't want to feel like the way you feel, and sometimes it seems like an easier route to take, to take your own life or whatever. It's not. Things will always get better. This too shall pass. I know you've probably heard that before. Uh, it's true. It's true that you will eventually get through the hard things you're dealing with, and eventually you'll, you'll see the light. And it seems corny to think about, but if you keep your head high and you keep strong, you'll eventually get to a point where you'll start seeing the good in life and you'll have experiences that uh, that um, you might not think will ever come again. And it's a, probably the best way I can explain that, but I'm not a professional. I eventually, yes, I would like to play randomized. Uh, Corey and I have never played a randomized. Uh, we were talking about that also the other day, that that would be something super fun to get into. We just haven't had, like, with all the series we've been doing, we haven't had the time to do it. But now that we got some free time coming up, we would like to try out a randomized. It's going to be tough, but that's, that's what's fun about it. It's a new challenge to something you've played a million times. For me, I would... Oh, Oh shit, I'm out of pistol ammo. For me, I would need that. For him, I don't know. That would be way too challenging. Wrong way. Sometimes I get too caught up in the conversation, I forget where I'm going. They're back! Okay, now I just gotta remember what floor that was on. 310 people here, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Almost 350 likes. That is incredible. I appreciate that, guys, a ton. Are you one remake with the item and door rando is hard as fuck. Yeah, I'll probably start with the easier one and work my way to that point. I've kind of got a good photographic memory, sort of, now than I've had before. I mean, it's not great. Look at me now. But, uh... <laughs> It's better than it was, so I could probably do a door randomizer, but I'd probably want to start with an item randomizer. I gotta remember where to go. Where was that frickin' picture? I don't think it was back here. First floor? Okay. In route! Thank you, Atazuken. I don't play the non-canon games. They're fun. I mean, it's always fun to see, like, I love Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles because they're totally what-if games. They're non canon sort of, but not. But it's a cool, like, different take on what the canon is. And my canon in my head is not the same as what's actual canon. I take little bits from things I like. I take things from the S.D. Perry novels. I take things from the old games. I don't necessarily think I really take much from the new games other than when I play the new remake stuff. Uh, but my canon is kind of like pick and choose what what makes sense for me. And a lot of people that are big on canon don't like that. I don't know. Three hundred arrows later. Shit. There you go. They bring a new life to Resident Evil, yeah. And I see a lot of people, they're very popular videos and somebody releases a randomizer video and people seem to love them and I enjoy watching them. So I think that would be something I'd really enjoy. I just had to find the time to do it. Rando voice, I've seen, that's the videos I'm talking about. I've seen the rando voice, those were great. 
Those are always hilarious. Needed that. Hell yeah. We're making some good progress. Give me the tank. I gotta go get it. I think that's later once I get the tank. Alright. They're here all night. JJ, this map will still be in my head when I'm old and nursing home guiding to the next game. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was thinking because I'm going to need that for this one. All right, now we got to go back to the mansion. I watch Bak Basu play them all the time. I think his videos are the ones that I actually watch. Yeah, his rando ones. That's where I seen the voice walk. That was funny as shit. Use Game Shark on Outbreak? I didn't realize they had a Game Shark for Outbreak. That's interesting. I loved, as a kid, I loved my Game Shark. That thing was so cool. There was like a tank, mini tank on this tank. Maybe not. Get off me! Okay. Grab it, Claire! Damn it! Okay, I can't grab it. This is fucking stupid! God damn it! No, I'm on caution again. Oh my god! <laughs> Load my save! Fuck! Hey dogs, dude. They're fine for the most part. Once they get you and they kind of gang up on you, then they really get you. That sucks, though. Really didn't want to go on caution there. Where's our boy Steve? We'll, we'll catch up with him again shortly. Now back to the house. Yes. Yes, I got it. I don't have to deal with these banner bitches again. Dogs won that round, yes. Don't ever try to grab those freaking arrows. Those dogs there. Dogs will ruin any run. They're so, like, predictable yet unpredictable. Oh, there's more and more people coming in tonight. I appreciate that, guys. Thanks for coming by. There we go. That was solid. Get in here and be on our merry way. This game definitely deserves a remake. I agree. I, again, like I said earlier with the controls, um, it's a little clunky. It's a little slow. Tank controls, fixed camera angles, all the stuff I love. That's what I prefer. But that would be grounds for a remake for the, the most part for what Capcom's done. Um, it's just such a good game. And then the story. The story is uh, having Chris and uh, Claire reunite and then Albert Wester's return like that's kind of important are you zero monkeys suck they fucking suck dude those are the worst oh this room the puzzles oh shit oh we're here we might as well do it Congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup. A butler. But. I remember having some issues with this one. As a commemorative to Veronica, as founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. Her second and third masters are Stanley and his son. Stanley. Thomas. Uh, similar teacups, it was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. Veronica did before them. The position of the family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur.
Uh, I then went to Sir Edward. Eddie! Your grandfather. That was meant... That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. Then I went to shit with you. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise umbrella, Inc. Good job, Edward. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded, Alex, the position of the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. Yeah, you piece of shit. You fucked up the, the family business. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance just as the vase continues to shine internally. Scott Harmon, butler of the Ashford family. Alright, kids, let's try to solve this puzzle. Alright, starts with the butler. Oh, so it goes from the butler to... Where's Veronica in this? I think Veronica was first, no? Let me read that again. Hey, hey, Nero again with another $5 super chat. You've been incredibly supportive tonight. Thank you. I don't know if it's me getting older, but I can't really get into 30 hour M RPGs anymore. Survival horror and fighting games, I play more nowadays. I couldn't because I just don't have the time until Elden Ring. And then I was like, okay, too much time I'm, I'm putting into this. I need to take a step back. All right. Have fun with this. Yeah, this one this one's kind of a bitch. Veronica is always last, I'm sure. Oh, Veronica's last. I know it's Alex's brother or sister, but according to the Asher family tradition. Butler presented a golden cup of tea. It's on the Asher family. Commemorative to Veronica. Yeah, but wouldn't Veronica come first? Because this is to Veronica. How did they know Veronica was coming? <clears throat> oh yeah, didn't they make her? Wait, hold on. Yeah, they're they're clone twins. Huh. Maybe she is last. I mean, it's Alex and, and Alexia. Oh, Veronica would be... Oh! That's Ashford. Veronica was probably first. Butler first. Oh, shit, it doesn't say their names either. It just says the things... Oh, okay. All right, all right. That's why this was hard. Now I remember... I gotta remember the things that they had. Okay. Alright, alright. There's Alex and Alexia. Cameron has the deets. Five. Man holding paper painting. Six. Oh, oh, Cameron, you're on fire, bud. Number one, woman painting. Yeah, Veronica. Thank you. Two. Man with two babies painting. Wait, what? B, B. Three, red-haired man. Ginger. Four. Red-haired man with plate. Ginger with plate. Five. Paper painting. It's kind of a fun puzzle. If I had more time, I wish I could tell this. Man with blue clothes on painting. Blue clothes. Seven. Giant painting. The guy with the biggest ego. All right. And that's the one that tanks your company. Okay, so we got to start with Veronica. Man with BBs. Nine. 
not with the vase, with the other red-haired dude. He doesn't have red hair. Nope. Him. Then him. Oh, my eyes so itchy. Okay, uh, then paper something. There's the paper. Claire kind of thick though. <laughs> She's kind of. Wow. I don't even know what I wrote there. It's really messy. I think it's this one. Candle. Clean clothes. Uh. It's the only one I didn't hit. Especially in Dark Side Chronicles. Yeah, I beat the game! Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, dude. Cameron, you're the man. Give me that vase. There's a frickin' ant in it. I would love to have an arcade machine with uh, Umbrella and Dark Side Chronicles. And Survivor 2. That would be super cool. I actually seen the Survivor 2. It's in Chicago. Beggy and Tony went and it was there. And I told Tony, I was like, how much does he want for it? And he never gave me a solid answer. I don't think the guy wants to sell it. But those things are worth... I seen one for $10,000 online. It's crazy. I would not pay $10,000 for an arcade machine. But he probably could get decent money for it. Can you imagine having a studio and having people come visit and then before you record any content do any podcast do any live streams you have to play survivor 2 arcade machine that is a great way to break the ice and hang out with people a business uh a business investment a tax write-off no i don't know i, I probably would have you would probably want to weigh more than i could afford Good morning from Spain. Hey, you. Isidar, thanks for coming by, man. All right, I think we're all good here. We don't got that key anymore yet. We're good. Doing pretty good, except for the fact that we have no pistol ammo. This game tears through all the... If you save, I was saving pistol ammo pretty well, and I still ran out. All right, now I got to think. About the ant. You have two arcades? No shit. I have one. I have uh, Donkey Kong Jr. And it broke a few years ago. It's, it's easily fixable. I just haven't had time to work on it. Uh, Survivor 2 did not come to consoles. Not that I'm aware of. I do know you can get an emulator with a ROM. But... Okay. Right, we got ant. Doesn't the ant go in the picture? It goes in a picture, but I can't remember which one. All right, we did all the things in here. Oh, I know where to go. All right, I know where to go. And my I don't have my freaking lighter. Son of a bitch. I should have did all this before. Damn it. I knew this had come back to bite me in the ass. Right in the butt cheek. Oh, it's Japan only. Nero again with another $250 super chat. Everybody, can we please give a round of applause? Clap those cheeks for Nero Redwood. And he's been incredibly supportive tonight, and I appreciate that greatly, man. Your thoughts on the Kaliso protocol? Okay. I thought the game overall was fine. It was enjoyable. Um, it had a really fun melee system. The atmosphere and graphics were incredible. The characters and the acting were fantastic. And the journey was fun. That's all the good I can say about it. Um, the story's very been there, done that. Nothing really new there. Felt like I was playing a game I played a million times before with Dead Space and Resident Evil. I mean, it was pretty much Umbrella Underground. Um, 
some of the issues were the gameplay mechanics, like the healing. The healing was just tedious, right? To look at your health, stare at it, then put it in your neck. That was just terrible. Illegal, I think. Um, some of the gameplay felt a little janky. Um, the boss at the end where you have to run away from it because it'll one-hit you, but then there's things that'll also one-hit you on the ground. Like, that's very unbalanced. That's very just sloppy, right? And there were some gameplay elements where you would be fighting an enemy and then something would come up behind you, you didn't even see it, and it would hit you. The one-hit enemies were kind of broken, right? And so, overall, I thought it was fine. I don't think it's worth the $70 at all. I think if it was an indie game for $30, it would have been incredible. Indie game of the year. But but a AAA game, I feel like, eh, okay. You know, so that's all. I, I enjoyed my experience, but again, it's full price AAA prices here, you know. Ra rating it off of that, it's okay. Rating it off an indie game for $30, it's great. You know, that's how I kind of like view games. Yeah, Kalisto. Uh, Nero asked my thoughts on Kalisto. Kind of want to save again. Kind of want to save. Yeah, I'm talking about Cal Callisto. Cholesterol protocol. He wants it to be remade, but nothing. Oh, God. Well, if you're talking about Code Veronica, yes. But I wasn't talking about Code Veronica. I was talking about Callisto. All monsters in Code Veronica are epic. Damn, Capcom is fake. Yeah, I, I mean, I wish they would remake this game, but we were talking about Callisto. Save often. And I just did that because I am going now up to the Ashford Mansion, uh, and I don't have my lighter, so that's going to be fun. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it had freaking, look at there is real actors, great acting. Um, the amount of money Sony was putting into that game, that's a triple A game. Regardless if they want to consider themselves indie or not, they have experience, they had funding, they charge full price. That's a triple A game. And it just felt very shallow. It felt shallow. Ooh, I see. Ooh, yeah. Yes, I am definitely going to play Daymare 1994 when it comes out. Looking forward to that. I'm not a huge fan of the whole freezing power mechanic, but I enjoyed Daymare 1998, and I really like the company. I uh, I like the guys involved. They're very passionate Resident Evil fans, and they've... They, like, have... God damn it. They have, like, the story anybody that's a developer would want to aspire to. They started with fan projects... They got to they they got uh, C and D. They get to go visit Capcom. They get to meet everybody. They started their own company. They released their own game. Now they're working on a sequel. Like that's such a success story. All right, now we're finally at the. Oh my god, how many times is this fucking door gonna open? This place sucks. Bad suck. Oh, this, this freaking mansion is so creepy. These kids need help. They need a counselor. I know there's stuff I'm missing. I'm just trying to dip. <laughs> Shit. That's what I was worried about. I was going to go back to that ammo. And that help, baby. <laughs> Needed that. Get out of there. They've only one published. Uh, one. PUBG. Yeah, that game did really well until Defense, Fortnite came brother. out. Our enemy is only a little girl. Gotta grab a drink. I'll be right back, guys. taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? It's me. Who 
what is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. All right. Wow, Alexia's hot. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. All right, in row. Cutscene. Rush dress. Oh, well, you never know. Some people like wearing girls' clothes, and some girls like wearing boys' clothes. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Combine that up, free up the space, and we are good to go. We got the ant. We are set. Hell yeah. I do think if they remake that, though, uh, some of the lines will probably be changed in this game. Something along the lines of what Claire says about it. Just kind of a different uh, uh, social climate these days, and I don't think some of the things would fly. Probably be upsetting to some people. No, that raid is done. Ooh, yeah, be, be nice in the chat. Uh, Matthew Hendricks with the $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Matthew. I appreciate that support. Nothing to say. Thanks, man. Nothing useful here. Oh, here comes my jam. Guys, get ready. This is a banger. But Def win an awards taking for talking to himself, yeah. Put the ant in. Oh, maybe I can't yet. Uh, well, I guess not. All right. That's where that ant goes. There's an ant indentation there. What the hell? Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Your faithfully, yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. Yeah, Resident Evil's gonna get canceled. Yeah, put it in now. Yeah, put it in. Am I missing something here? I thought the ant went in that. What the hell? I'm going to use that, though. Definitely. We're back on flying, baby. Oh, let's see here. I guess that's got to go in the other room, then, maybe. Mo! You never recovered Steve's body or a future... Uh, oh, you think he's still alive? You think Steve made it through this? I would probably bet money that uh, he didn't pull through, but this is the Resident Evil universe. Anything is possible. Shit, they could even bring back Albert Wesker if they wanted to. I mean, they've technically kind of done it in the series, even though I haven't watched it fully. He's there. And from my understanding, it takes place after five. But characters and story were awesome. CV probably didn't sell well because it was exclusive, exclusive on Dreamcast. Uh, yeah, I... I it's tough to say because it was exclusive on Dreamcast and so was Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 didn't sell that great until they put it on PlayStation 2 and then it sold amazing. But they also put Code Veronica on PS2 and it didn't do the same. There's the song I was looking for. Sing it with me. We gotta make this a karaoke song. The king lost his life and... His lady love. Give me it. No, I mean, Steve's body was never recovered from the Wesker's possession. Oh, yeah. And look what he did with Jill. He can do things. Good point. There we go. Oh, settle down there, guy. Now we can use the ant. I hate the, I, I've told you that if you guys know me and you watch my streams and heard my thoughts on Resident Evil things before they come out, I absolutely hate two things in any series, time travel and clones. 
If not handled properly, it will break everything. And I just don't like when any series goes that route. Unless handled properly. I would hate to see Resident Evil go to clones. I would hate to see Resident Evil go to time travel. And Resident Evil has gone down the clone road before. Let's not do it again. I think I got to save. I think there's a boss battle coming up. I don't remember. Who do I think the villain will be in Resident Evil 9? Personally, I think it's going to revolve around BSAA. And I think they're going to elaborate more on the connections. Who the villain will be, I don't know. But what if freaking Wesker came back? What if they somehow brought him back? That would be pretty crazy. But potentially he could be running, pulling the strings behind the connections. I don't know. What if... Huh. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to say. That one's locked. I gotta get, oh, I gotta go up. Okay. Alright, well, let's just... I didn't really get that far, so let's just go up. Hopefully I can... I don't know. I can't remember if it was a boss or not. I just know I go upstairs and there's a carousel and I gotta fight something. Let's do it. I'm equipped. Sort of. Yeah, let's go. Two aid sprays. A key. Where, was, where else could I use that key? I can't remember. What if it's a Chris clone? I do think that the BSA is using Chris clones. I think those BOWs aren't just reused asset. I, I fully think that that's going to be a, a military clone. Oh, it's sealed. All right, we got to go this way anyways. So now this is kind of where the game gets a little foggy for me. This is where I got to kind of go back through and remember some of the things that, uh, yeah, re-remember everything. Up until this point, I had it down pretty well, for the most part. Birds! Bats! What's that? This is a candle. Shit! Get off me. No, I would not like that at all. A Resident Evil game like Elden Ring. Two completely different games. Don't merge the world. Please don't do this. I don't know. I would not like that. That kind of like Devil May Cry kind of is, kind of a little bit. Main floor side with the banner snatch. Ah, in here. Thank you, Adazuka. I know there's a banner snatch in here, but you don't got to take them all. You just got to get one thing and you'll never need to come back in here. I can't remember where. exactly. Ow! Is this it? Shit. Just swing on me, bitch. Ouch. Oh, it's just an ink ribbon? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah! Put me on caution. Oh, yeah. Lighter there, but I don't got my lighter anymore, dude. What's kind of off topic? PSA, the Boulder Puncher Division, but nothing crystal. Like, is like, is Dark Souls like? Oh, uh, elements. I mean, all Resident Evil games, sort of. They're just harder. Games used to be harder than they are now. Now they're super forgiving. I have played Evil Within, yeah. I don't... I was not a big fan of Evil Within. I, it was just too out there for me. It was just too many different ideas. It was like, let's throw it in because it's scary for the sake of scary. And I have since, like, went into the lore of Evil Within. And I think the overall story is really interesting. Um, but the gameplay itself is just different. I don't know. Eventually, yes. But right now, I don't really have any interest going back to Evil Within. I will say, Elden Ring taught me a lot of uh, self-discipline. Okay, so I got an ink ribbon. I got this key now. I'm pretty sure there was... Yeah, we had to go back down to the mansion. I 
I think we should be able to at least get to getting the um, airplane going. We get two of the gems so far. I think there's bander bitches in here. I love this area though when you walk up and it shows you the castle. That's super cool. Submarine time? Oh, is that where we gotta go, hey? Yeah, there was some locked doors down there, but there's a locked door in here I gotta go to. Banner snatch. He's gonna spank me. Okay. Well, we lived. That's always a plus. What happened to Resident Evil 2 mod during the storm? I think it was. Oh, uh, during the storm, yeah, he, um, the developer Res Evil Nemesis 30, he was in school or something, and he was getting a little stressed out over the project, so he went radio silent for like three months. Nobody could get a hold of him. They were worried, so the team he was working with made the decision to cancel it. About a month after that, he came back and said, yeah, guys, sorry, I was really stressed out. I'm dealing with a lot right now. Eventually, I'd like to come back to it, but I kind of bit off more than I could chew. Um... So at least he's doing well. He's fine. A lot of people were worried about him. He's good. He's just stressed out. That was the that Resident Evil fan game was the one I was looking most forward to though. That was incredible. That was like everything I wanted in a Resident Evil game. Not gonna save yet. But we can go to the casino now, baby. Hell yeah, put it all on red. What do you think? Oh, Bagels Battles with the $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Bagels Battles. I appreciate that greatly, man. What do you think about the game of the year? Yes. Win. I agree. I call. I called that. I said I think that's most likely what it's going to be. I know a lot of people loved God of War, uh, but there were still a lot of complaints about it. And I think a not, like, um, unanimously, Elden Ring, everybody loved Elden Ring that played it. Hitting him. My feet! <laughs> to the casino, baby. Let's go. I hope he comes back around to finishing it. He's very talented, though. He did Mortal Knight. He did um, Kendo's Cut. In his free time in between. I honestly think he did Kendo's cut to break up the monotony of during the storm. Um, but the dude makes amazing fan games. So I think he'll eventually be back. <clears throat> Again, just the case of biting off more than you can chew. Let's play some freaking blackjack. Oh, I don't got that scroll yet. <clears throat> Roulette. Hit something. Play it. Can't remember what I got to do in here. I think I got to get the music note for the piano. I think that's pretty much it. Nothing else I got to do in here. Just grab this, put it in my uh, item box, and we'll... Let's drop off one of those aid sprays, too. I don't need both of them. Now that I'm on, fine. I gotta play Kendo's Cut again, though. That's another one that was really good. I played it when it came out in its entirety, both parts, and I've not gone back to it, but I loved it. And you guys know Robert Kendo is like a fan favorite of mine. The big goofy gun nut. And the, the fact that an entire game was made around him. And like that, right? I said, I don't want time travel or clones in my Resident Evil game. That was fun. That was like a, a comedic uh, spin-off. That is totally fine. I was actually very excited when I seen they were doing time travel shit in that. For a mainline game, though. No, no, no. Don't do that. Please don't do that. There we go. I need to binge Silent Hill series. I only played the first one. Oh man, Silent Hill 2 is my second favorite game of all time. We played it for the first time almost two years ago on the row. And uh, I was completely blown away with that game. It's one of those games that just stick with you. Right? It's just so good it sticks with you. Everybody was, you know, said Silent Hill 2 is the best. And I had such high expectations. And I was just so blown away by how good and dark and I don't know the story the score everything about that game I absolutely love it
Joseph Kendo is still alive, yeah. Ouch! Rick, back on caution now, you piece of shit. Get! I shoot faster. This is the room where I only have to get like one thing. Give me the lore. Did you see my last comment on why I think the Dreamcast didn't sell well? I don't know. Write it again. Because you could you could copy games. Because we talked about that earlier. Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. No, you didn't die yet. Spoilers! I'm just kidding, by the way. Yeah, Hunk was trained on this island. This is uh, Rockford Island where a lot of the sol <clears throat> soldiers were trained. Mouth is really dry. I need to drink some water. Ugh. Everybody's still sticking around. Thanks for hanging out, guys. <sighs> Throat was dry. Amount of G fuel. Oh, isn't it in the house? There was like an article or something about Kendo. Can't remember exactly what it was. <clears throat> All right, we got the emblem. Let's get back over there. This game has a lot of freaking backtracking. Holy shit! Way more than I remember. I don't. I don't think I'd like a a, a game, a story-based Resident Evil game centered around Hunk, for the reason like Ada Hunk. They're, they're set up to be mysterious characters, right? You're only interested in them because you know very little about them. The less you know, the more you want to know. And I feel like making a game centered around them would break that illusion and ruin the reason why people like the character. You know what I mean? It ruins the mystery. There's no, you know it now. It's like uh, making a movie or a series around uh, Boba Fett. A lot of people like the series. I like the series. But like there was a reason why so many people loved Boba Fett and there was this like fan gathering around him. It's because they made their own lore about him because there was very little. And once you tell the story canonically about that, now it's canon, that goes away. And that's the same way I feel about Hunk, the same way I feel about Ada. I don't need a game that tells me their entire life. I don't need a game that tells me why they did what they did. I just need them doing shit behind the scenes. That's what I want. Wait, who's here? Biohazard to Classified. Andy is in the house. How's it going, Andy? Let's all give him a very warm welcome. Thanks for coming by, man. I was a little disappointed that PS4, PS5 version of Code Veronica, the PS2 port, not the PS3 HD port. I was just saying earlier that I'm excited to play this, but it's going to be the piss filter. I don't really mind the piss filter, uh, but people will. And once I started playing it, I was like, holy shit. This isn't the piss filter version. I got it. You agree with me? Okay. Yeah, and I, you don't have to agree with me, but that's just my thoughts on that. You know what I mean? My favorite Resident Evil weapon, it used to be the Gatling gun. When I was a kid growing up playing Resident Evil 2 and I got the Game Shark and I had a limited Gatling gun, it was amazing. But now it's the uh, Albert model Samurai Edge and Resident Evil, Vill or Resident Evil 7. It's just such a beautiful gun. It, it's kind of strong. It only has three rounds, which is stupid. But it just looks amazing. I love it. First floor. We gotta get to the first floor. Hey, Bagels Battles with another $5 super chat. Thank you again for your support, man. I greatly appreciate that. Will you have any time this month or in January to do uh, the podcast? If you're still interested, of course. Yes, I am still interested. Will I have time? Maybe. I probably will. Uh, just hit me up on like a Friday uh, during our stream day because then I'll let you know what I got going on Saturday. It'll probably be Saturday or Sunday I'll be able to record, but I'm only probably going to have like an hour or two. But just message me. Don't feel like you're ever bothering me. It's fine. I forget. I got things going on all the time. So if we're going to do it, I just got to make time for it. You just got to keep reminding me. Okay, 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 okay. 
This way. We got it. There should be an update that three... Yeah. That three round magazine's ridiculous. Bubba was also one of the few characters to go to the Star Wars parades. Probably went a long way in making fans feel more connected to his likeness. Probably did, yeah. Oh, shit doesn't go here. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I gotta figure out where that goes now. Metal. My favorite unlockable in Resident Evil. That's a great question. Probably the mercenaries. Unlocking the mercenaries in Resident Evil 3. That was amazing. Good morning, Helena. Thanks for coming by. Alright, where does this bad boy go? I can't remember. Shit. Shit, now we're going to run around in circles for an hour. Yeah, these are done. I got to go get the tank. The biker game was... The biker gang in Boba Fett, the Book of Boba Fett, was terrible. It was like the fucking Power Rangers, and that was so stupid. Well, again, I like the show. I just... There was a lot of things I did not like about it. The fucking biker game was terrible. And Boba Fett was kind of a bitch in his own show. Oh, where I was with the sniper of the dogs? Thank you. That's, uh, yeah, that's over. That's, uh, that's back this way. Yeah, it's over here. Top five characters. Leon, Chris, Claire, Jill, and Robert Kendo. That was off the cuff, and I agree 100% with what I just said. Forrest would be number six. No, well, I've not played Days Gone, but that's one I do want to play for sure. Hey, he kept taking his helmet off. You know what sucks? I got a Getcha Dome Split emoji, and we can't even use it because you can't split any domes in this game. can leave it on. Look what they did in Mandalorian. Mandalorian was excellent. That show is, out of all the Star Wars shit they've done recently, The Mandalorian's my favorite. I, I haven't watched Andor. I haven't watched Kenobi. But between the movies, the shows, the ones that I did watch, Mandalorian for the win, 100%. I, you, yeah, Mandalorian's just fantastic. It's fun, man. It, it was the first time I felt like this is what I love about Star Wars since I actually, uh, uh, this is an unpopular opinion, but I loved Episode 7. I really, that's what got me like super into it. And then 8 came out and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Get out of here. All right, and this isn't where I gotta go. I gotta get, uh, I gotta get back uh, second floor. We're gonna be going a little bit back and forth, not knowing where we're going. This is where the game gets murky for me. But uh, I'll try to keep you guys entertained with the chat. Hopefully it's interesting. Yandy! The only thing about the PS3 port is the horrific bloom effect. The rest of the port is okay. Yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's fine. It's, for me, it's fine. Got a nice uh, widescreen. Looks clean. I got a little purdy for you guys. I got some filters on my uh, Elgato. It's pretty dark for me. The day before. It's a game coming on next year. Yes, very very much so looking forward to the day before. I hope it's as good as it looks. Yeah, everybody on his team dies. That is true, Bagel's Battles. Yeah, he's not a good captain. <laughs> I think it's through here. I think if they really want to retell the story of like the games... No, it's not all here. The games that we've already seen done a million times... Do it in, like, a CG way like they did with the Resident Evil 1 remake. Like, that intro cutscene. Like, do it like that. I personally don't think they need to retell the events of Resident Evil 1 in movie form. They've already done it perfectly in the games. Just give me a new original story with new original characters. Write a good fucking script. And then we'll talk. Not the first floor. It's gotta be the first floor. God damn it! 
I don't know what it is. Every time I play this game, I always get hung up in this fucking place. E it's all it's all here. We're good. You ordered a PS5? Hell yeah, MJ1. Congrats, dude. Hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy mine. This is not fucking it. I went the wrong way. God bless it. I'm going to have an aneurysm. Nemesis. Nemesis would beat Thanatos Tyrant. Yes. 100%. Thanatos is all about his looks. He's too worried about his physique. Nemesis just don't give a shit. Nemesis. I'm gonna die. In real life. I'm trying to get back to the freaking lion statue and I keep going the wrong way and I'm... Okay, it's gotta be in the fucking basement. Basement floor! Thought I already checked that, but we're going back. What do I think about Welcome to Raccoon City? I feel like... There's some elements of the movie I enjoyed. The locations. When the locations hit, they hit. Um, The first, like, 20 to 30 minutes of the movie I thought were fine butchered some things but I, I was able to look past that because I enjoyed it and then then it just all fell apart man it was just a whole it was a script the script was terrible too much fan service uh, and just unnecessary changes uh, it became a mess it became a mess it was the script was bad storytelling the flow it was just all ugh. by the end of the movie I was like I just want it to be over I don't even care I was really looking forward to that movie. I think I came back here and got this stuff. Give me the chemicals. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm missing one thing. I'm missing where the f Where are all those freaking dogs, dude? I know some people liked it, and that's, that's cool. I'm glad you guys liked it. I wish I liked it. I tried, too. I tried really hard. It just wasn't for me, man. I don't know. Actually, yeah, there was points in that movie where I was like, they could have just made a comedy. If they just would have went all out and made a comedy, I might have liked it more. Because there was moments where they were, they were a comedy, and then there were moments where they got all serious again. And I was like, what is your movie? What are you doing? Figure it out. Oh, this is where I was trying to get. Like, make a comedy? Make a comedy. Make a serious movie? Make it. What is this? There, I, I found it. I finally. I, went, I found it the wrong way, but I did find it. I think Resident Evil 9 will come out. Good question. When will Resident Evil 9 come out? I think it will be uh, 2024. Yeah, 2024, I think, Resident Evil 9. Like, later in 2024. I think after the hype dies down for Resident Evil 4 remake, that releases, uh, it's well-received, and everybody's happy. I think then they're going to showcase... Next summer, I think they're going to showcase, like, they're going to announce Resident Evil 9. That is my prediction. You ran past it. I know I did. I had to do this. There we go. We're good. We're good. Going back. 
Shaun of the Dead was fantastic. That was one of the best zombie movies ever made. It was a well-written script, you know? I think that's for Resident Evil live-action properties. Screw themselves, is they, uh... They try too much to be like the... Like, they try to be the games, but they're not the games. They just need to write a good script about Survivors and Raccoon City or whatever it is. I don't know. Focus on the script first. All right, Eagle Plate. Where are we going, Eagle Plate? I gotta pay attention to the game, though. I like answering questions, but right now I gotta focus on getting some progress done. Thank you for asking all the questions, though, guys. I gotta figure out where this freaking thing goes. I don't remember. They try too hard, yeah. They try too hard or not hard enough? I don't know. It's a good conversation to have, though. One that really takes time to think about where did we go wrong? How can we improve? Where do we need to focus? You know, it's it's a it's a podcast conversation. That's where it goes. I checked it. Oh shit. Oh bad. It does go in the spot I checked. Okay, I wasn't sure. I didn't think it did. 330 people here, guys. I keep getting more and more people. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys are coming by. That's awesome. That means the, the channel is doing well. Nothing left. I checked it. Nope, not there. The guillotine. Oh, thank you. Why does Rio keep telling me to go back to here? Alright, I'm out of here. I thought I did everything here, so I was confused. Why do I gotta go back here? Ooh, that was close. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, MJ1. I mean, for me personally, as like a, a uh, an old Resident Evil player, right? There was a time where I felt that Resident Evil died after Resident Evil Code Veronica. When I played 4, man... The first time I played it, I was I was just like, what what is this? This is not for me anymore. It's fun, but it's just not for me. Uh it wasn't until coming back around I think five actually. When I first played five, I didn't like that either. And then I took some time off and then I got it from GameStop when I worked there. And I was like, Corey, this game's co-op. Everybody says it's better co-op. Let's try it. And I just I I started playing it and we couldn't stop. We sat down for 13 hours straight, overnight, beat it. I was just like, this is the most fun I've ever had in a co-op game. Uh, to the point where I got home from work, he came over, we beat it, and then I had to go back to work. No sleep, I just took a shower and went right back to work. Uh, and I think that's what opened my mind to the other Resident Evil games. You know, like, because I enjoyed that so much, even though it was different, I had fun. And then I went back years later to 4 and I appreciated it for what it was. And I, I actually fell in love with that one, too. Six, though, on the other hand, I never fell in love with six. I didn't really like it when I played it, and I don't really like it now. Except, I will say the characters are great. The uh, continuation of the story. Shit. Ooh, good dodge. The continuation of the story is great. There's some good elements to six, but overall, that game is just mad. It's like you went so good, like so right with co op and five. Well, why did you have to change everything for six? Well, that was close. No, I had the lighter, but I gave it to that guy. Forgot I had that out, but hell yeah. Like, the whole upgrade system, it's super fast-paced. It just seems like way too much. Thank God. Why are you so fast? 
giving these zombies G fuel. God damn it. Still never beat the campaigns? Yeah, I beat all of them. Yeah. I think Chris is definitely my favorite of the campaigns. Get cooked. Um, Chris and Piers, I love Piers as a secondary character. I think he's my favorite of the newer secondary characters. Um, I feel like if you just watch the cutscenes for Resident Evil 6 for Chris's campaign, just cutscenes, it's the perfect Resident Evil movie. Like it's got a story arc, it's, it's really good. But I felt like his campaign, like the game was meant to be action focused and his campaign was majorly action focused. So it felt like that fit with the game they were trying to make. Oh, fire extinguisher. I gotta go get that. Yeah, good call. I don't remember this part. Oh yeah, I do. Give me that ammo. There is spots in this game where it's like blank spots for me. There we go. And. To everybody joining, guys, thanks for coming by to my uh, gaming channel. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I uh, live stream every Sunday. Generally survival horror games, but once in a while I'll play other horror games. Resident Evil's kind of my go-to. Get up! Most annoying enemy in Resident Evil? Oh man, there's been a lot. There's been a lot. I'd have to really think about that. Doing a lot of tier list questions. Yeah, offhand, I don't know. Most memorable, the one that is most iconic for me is the original Resident Evil 2 liquor when you first get to the RPD. That thing was holy shit. Nightmares. Seeing it on the ceiling with the blood dripping. Oh my god. Nemesis is probably my favorite of all of the enemies though. Yeah, that dude was no joke. The tension was ramped up so much with him. Mr. X started it though in the Resident Evil 2B scenario. Forgot about this room. Holy shit. And it. Have a good night, Joseph. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Hopefully, we'll catch you again in a future stream. Needed that ammo. So, you died for the first time? Oh, no shit. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies in here. Well, I can open in that now, so we're good to go. Hell yeah! M93 arm. Beretta. Oh shit. Yeah, this is cool. Oh. My heart's beating. Oh god. I do enjoy the animated films of Resident Evil. Um, Degeneration at the time was amazing. Claire was perfect in it. Leon was like a cardboard box. I like the second one the best because they finally gave Leon the personality I kind of always expected he'd have. And Vendetta was where it was getting a little silly over the top. But there were some really cool scenes. Like Leon and Chris teaming up together in the hallway. Come on, that's iconic. Something seems to be missing. Hey, quit eating that guy. What's wrong with you, mister? I don't know who'd win in a fight. Lisa Trevor or Jack Baker? Probably Jack Baker. Holy shit, good thing he's stupid. Fucking hell! Unload, baby! Burr. Give me that. It's got the eyeball! Hand it! It did Vendetta did have Rebecca too. That's also a big plus. Never was a huge fan of Rebecca, but it was good to see her back. And I think they handled her character really well. Except she was a little too passive, but I guess they just make her passive. So I loved it, yeah. 
Oh, thanks, Ryu. I appreciate that you're having fun, man. Bats! Damnation, eight of the best. Yes. Freaking super tyrants, though. Those freaking tyrants in that, dude? That was sick. When I first seen that thing break out of the capsule and it just started destroying, like, all the zombies and, uh, liquors, I was like, god damn. That thing was huge, dude. That was like a 14-foot tyrant. Oh, I love this room. Say goodbye to all your ammo. Oh, yeah, and it's gone. I had too much fun. Right in the butt cheeks. Oh, man, I got him right in the ass. Catch my arrow. Here, catch. Catch, 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 catch. It's a good catch. Too late. Don't go downstairs just yet. You need more inventory space. Oopsie daisies. Wing it, baby. I gotta use some more bogan. Ooh, look at these pliers. Is this Tony's gimp room? Totally looks like it could be. Nice little torture room you got here. Just gotta clean it better. What's in here? I gotta pee really bad. I'm gonna have to take a break. All right, guys. I gotta take a quick two minute break. Please do not go anywhere. If you're just joining, thank you for coming by. Uh, and if you guys are watching, we wanna let everybody know that I'll be right back. Just give me like two minutes to go use the bathroom. And uh, I appreciate you guys. We were at 396 likes, which our goal was 250, and we crushed that a long time ago. Let's try to hit 425 before I come back. So if you have not hit that like button, please do so, and if you are not enjoying it, then don't feel obligated. I'll be right back, guys. Talk to chair. Graffiti chair. I'm back. Sorry it took so long. I got my pizza oven going so I can make a pizza. I'm sure you guys understand. Hey, a row team member. New retro reviews. Tony with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Tony. And he says, hello, chair. I will make sure chair gets that super chat. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. And it's good to see you. All right, back to the game. So if any of you guys want to come over, pizza's on me. 
Greetings! The sunglasses are looking spiffy as ever. Hell yeah, Tony. Hello, JJ and chat. I will add this to my watch later as I am currently working in snowy Essex, England. Oh, keep up the good work. You are smashing it. Thank you so much, George Allen. I appreciate that. And I hope you have a good night at work, man. Whoa, this part. I forgot about this part. Oh, God. Oh, God. We gotta go. I gotta go save. We're getting too far. This is the part of the game where it's a little murky for me. As I've said before, but I know I got a lot of new people joining. And holy crap, we broke 400 likes. Thank you guys so much. We didn't hit 425, but we hit 410. That's fucking good. I appreciate that. Let's go up, save, drop off some of our stuff. I'm pretty sure there's like a mini boss coming, if I remember correctly. JJ mentions Tony and he appears. Hell yes. Always good to see Tony. My fellow Rose Squad, Row team members. Andy is here as well. George Allen, down in Kent, how is it for you? Oh yeah, you don't gotta work today, Andy. Well, you do, from home. But that's like getting the day off work, right? That's awesome. Wish I got a snow day. We make snow plows though. They're never gonna give us a snow day. We literally make the things that help you plow the snow. I want a snow day. I fucking love cake. I don't, you know, actually, Cool D, I love cake. I love cheesecake, I love normal cake. You know what I don't like on my cake? And this might be an unpopular opinion. I don't like frosting on my cake. I actually find that frosting is way too much. I, whenever I'm at a birthday or something, I'll have the cake, but I'll scrape that frosting right off. And then the cake is delicious. Who else doesn't like all the frosting? Get away from my feet. Oh, right in the butt. Give me my arrows back. Holy shit, guy. I think this can take all of you. It does. It takes all of them this whole time. I was rocking two, two inventory spaces, and I could have just freaking did that. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Giga Chat or Mr. X? Mr. X, 100%. Actually, dude in Callisto Protocol at the end was Handsome Squidward. The boss. Oh, here we're going back around, and there's an item box. Oh yeah, give me that. What was that? Over here. Give me it. I don't mind frosting, just not too much. Has to be thin. Thin, I could probably do it. Yeah, thin is okay. A lot of TVs still, do I believe? What? The fuck are you talking about? My fat ass will eat a whole ass tub of frosting. I was going to say, if anybody here is going to eat a lot of frosting, it's probably going to be Proxy. And you are definitely not fat. Alright, we don't need this much heals. We're probably going to need some. We're going to swap these out with these. Bots! The robots are here! Somebody get them! Good job, Prox. Thank you. Row fours. Coming in strong. Arr. Top three Resident Evil games. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 1. Then Resident Evil 3. Original. Yes. Yes, that is right. I, I picked the original Resident Evil 1 over the remake. Well, I say Resident Evil 1 remake is the perfect Resident Evil game. In every single way. And the original Resident Evil 2 is my favorite game of all time. I still have more nostalgia for the original because I went right from 2 to the original. So, I don't know. I'm weird, okay? Get off my ass about it. Right after that, though, would be one remake. Bot Tango down. Yay, I can get my heels. Cream cheese frosting on velvet cake. Okay, I can do that. I can do that 100%. Velve oh yes, yes, yes. That is good. That is good. Please deposit any metallic. Oh no! Give me my shit. In the security box. Never going through this again. I'm out of here. I really want to save. Survivor dead aim and umbrella core. Oh! Everything was fine until you said umbrella core. Why did you do that, proxy? You know that's not funny. That's just disgraceful 
I, I'm, I'm one that always encourages. We don't gatekeep. We don't do any of that. If somebody likes something, we let them like it. But as soon as Proxy says he, he likes Umbrella Core, I just go right to just... How fucking dare you? All right, we're doing all right on heels. That's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would like to see... Yeah, saving would be great. There's a typewriter right here. We're good. I had to rethink. Cream cheese is probably like the only like... Do you consider it frosting? I can't keep says new to retro reviews. Do what you gotta do. You do you, man. I don't judge. What do I think of Lost Media and Resident Evil? Like, be more specific. Like, what do you mean by Lost Media? Because if you're talking about, like, things that are obscure, um, like, alphas, betas, prototypes, Resident Evil Zero on the 64, um, like, if that's what you're talking about, I absolutely love that stuff. I, I thrive off of those obscure Resident Evil, uh, projects and incomplete things. The concept for Dash, even though Dash was never a thing, it was more of like an early concept for Resident Evil 2. Like that is super interesting to me. But is that what you're talking about? All right, let's go back down. No, we never sold these Christmas jumpers. Our sponsor at the time did, but they're they're not no longer in business, unfortunately. I told you guys we we're gonna, usually I go live for about three, three and a half hours. I told you guys we we're doing a longer one tonight. So I hope you enjoy it, cause I'm having a blast. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I wanna get, I wanna get to the, before we end the stream, I wanna get, at least get off of this island. If someone says they like Metal Gear Survive, I shame them and shun them, yeah. You gotta do it, right? You gotta, you gotta destroy somebody's uh, likes for what's right. I'm just kidding. Brox, if you like Umbrella Core, more power to you, man. Somebody's got to like it. <clears throat> just not going to be me. That's the only Resident Evil game, too, that I'll, I'll, I have issues with. Gaiden, Survivor, Dead If you like those games, that's fine. There's I actually like Survivor more than most people do. That's my favorite of those, like, off-title spin-off games. I think Survivor is fantastic. Um, but when it comes to Umbrella Core, well, oof, 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 give me the shield. Give me the sword. I want to use it. Hell yeah. Fuck. Uh oh. Oh, did I do that wrong? Getting really high. Getting really high. Hell yeah. Oh! Let it out. Let it out. Watch this. Stab! Ah, he's not gonna like that! Bitch. Is there something in there? Oh, hell yeah. Give me that. I got the scroll. We're ready to go to the piano, baby. Let's go. To the casino. It's ready to go. Put it all on red. When three got scrapped, I was mad upset. What do you mean when three got scrapped? What, when three? Oh, file three. Yes, 100%. That's, that sucks. That sucks. I like seeing what it could have been, but it makes me depressed. Start a fire extinguisher. On it. I'm on it. I'm going to get that fire extinguisher right now. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Double birds. I like bats. I think I always liked bats because of Batman. Everybody is afraid of bats, and I never was. Mr. Kill Jr. with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much for your support, man. People who like the worst game of a series is usually because the that was their introduction to the series. Oh, this is definitely not Proxy's introduction, but usually yes. Agreed. Appreciate that support, man. Thank you. 
I actually thought Operation Raccoon City was a lot of fun to go up. I, I, I had a good time with that game, not gonna lie. I would play that game again, multiple times, yes, it was fun. And I liked it when it came out because I didn't play it when it first came out. I was at GameStop and I heard everybody just shit on it. And I was like, oh man, this must be really bad. And so I waited and I got it, I got it for like $13 like a couple months after it came out. And I brought it home and I played it and I was like, you know what, I can see why people don't like it. But to see these areas from Resident Evil 2 and HD on the 360, see William Birkin, like that was so cool. Like I know the game was different, it's not what everybody expected, but I enjoyed it, I thought it was fine. And then coming back around to play co-op with Susie and Tony and uh, Corey, that was a blast. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher? Did I leave the fire extinguisher? I thought I had it. I thought it was in my inventory. Shit. I don't have it. Zook, did I leave it somewhere? Saranya Play with a 5 euro super chat. Thank you so much, Saranya. I appreciate that greatly. Nothing to say, just showing the support. Thank you, Saranya. I don't have a fire extinguisher, dude. I'm freaking out. Am I supposed to have it? Did I not grab it? Oh, shit. Guys, I gotta go put my pizza in. I'll be right back. I got a pizza up there waiting, waiting for me. I'm so stoked. It's a rising crust di giorno. Yes. It might be by the guillotine. Oh, did I leave it there? I mean, I grabbed it out of... Well, we'll go check. Actually, shit, I don't want to go this way. <clears throat> I grabbed it. I used it. I don't remember ever setting it down anywhere. You know what? I might have put it in the freaking metallic box. That might be where I left it. Well, back to the metallic box. In the first door of this place, with all the metal things. Yes, thank you, Adazuki. And I just that just clicked. That freaking that freaking metallic box, man. I tell you, that's the bane of this game. That is that is the true boss. Freaking metallic box. At least it's right here. What else did I leave in there? I think I stopped playing anything Resident Evil related after 6. I didn't play Revelations 1 fully. I didn't play Revelations Please 2. Deposit <clears throat> any metallic items you have yeah, in the security I was pretty box. much checked out. Hell yeah. Get. Yeah, six kind of burnt me out. Took a long break. Seven's what got me back into the series. I always came back around to the original games, but like for any of the newer stuff, I was like, eh, whatever. Not interested. Thank God I came back around to Revelations 1 and 2 though. Revelations 1 was good, but 2 was great. I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed Revelations 2. <clears throat> Alright, that looks good. Pirating game disc might be have played a part in it, but... No, bro. 
Didn't freaking Dreamcast have Fantasy Star? That was an online game and that was amazing. Pretty sure Fantasy Star was on Dreamcast and that was online. Told you you love Rift 2 and Savory. Yeah, you did. You did tell me. That's Barry's definitive game. Game is amazing. Uh, okay, so we gotta go back to the piano now. Piano's in the mansion. Damn it, this game has so much backtracking. Holy shit. Did I even unlock this yet? No. It's impossible. I'm gonna go this way and see where it takes me. Can't remember. <coughs> yeah, it was Dreamcast. Though it did have online games. I don't think it failed because of the games. I think it failed because of the pirating and the price. And the time. And it didn't have like a mega uh, backing like Sony had. Fantasy Star was awesome. I gotta go this way. I like how it's just constant. Yeah, back then it was different, and online was just. It was early. It was early in its uh, life. <coughs> Truth out! Boom, baby! Resident Knievel. We're almost there, kids. We almost did it. Can't believe it's not delivery. No, it's DiGiorno. And I can't wait to eat it. Again, just want to thank you guys all for coming by. I know it's late. It's technically Monday morning. Uh, but the fact that you guys come here and hang out on Sunday, not just on the row, not just on the row Twitch, but you come here, it means a lot to me. So thank you guys. Piano. Piano. Casino. Whenever I forget where the piano is, I remember casino. Greetings. Albert Wesker! You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost, coming back to haunt your dear brother. Oh my god, that's so cool, dude. Holy shit. It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I oh, was so the one cool. who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. All the maniacal now that the apps. dragged in this nice surprise. Your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. <laughs> I despise Chris. Uh, what I think you he hurt your doing? ego, Albert. Uh, uh, I think you're a very fragile uh, man. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, oh, how your brother will wish to see you. I think I love it so much because of how simplistic <laughs> this story is and just how, like, what? evil villain. What is it? Good guy. You know what I mean? Like that's that's Stay fun. There. It's like Top I'm Gun. Coming. Top Gun is a fantastic movie. But the story uh, uh, it's very basic. It appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. Whoa. Got laser beams for eyeballs. Whoa! Got the frickin' dude, he should play basketball. What are you doing fighting a girl? Just go play basketball, dude. Probably would have been the... Yeah, he would have been a freaking superstar, dude. Soccer, basketball, whatever he played. He would have been top-notch. Never let him know that you got you got the T-virus in you and you're infected and shit. Just keep on keeping on. All right. Casino. But. But goddamn, that's so cool, man. I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your probably Like, that's... 
It's so epic just to come back after Resident Evil 1. You play Resident Evil 1, you play Resident Evil 2, you play Resident Evil 3, and then all of a sudden, he's back. Like, that's so fucking cool. Jumps like a cat. Yeah, he's got some, he's got some feline in him. Bad kitty! I'm gonna play this now. And enjoy my melody. <clears throat> Friendly but naive king who wed a very nasty queen. The king was love, but the queen was feared. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't all applause at once. It's a, this is a banger, dude. <laughs> Never trust someone in sunglasses. Looks at Tony. King's heart. The king wants a life and his lady love. This is actually with that song, how that song plays and then it rolls into the intro of the game. That's so fucking cool. It's such a catchy melody, too. Alright, we got the beetle bug. It looks like Claire is wearing all red high top Air Jordans. Hell yeah, let's see what they are. Yeah, those are pretty sick. What are they? If they're boots, that's kind of lame, but if they're, no, they're boots. I've seen some high renders, but they kind of look like Jordans. That's way cooler. All right, so you said I need uh, the fire extinguisher. Am I gonna need it for what's coming up? Oscar was a fantastic villain. If it wasn't for Nemesis being so good, Wesker would be my favorite, but it's Nemesis. Nemesis is my favorite. Wesker's second. I guess Nemesis was kind of like a one and done, though. Wesker actually came back. You think? If they remade 5, they'd retcon his death? They might. But isn't that a part of what makes him so special is that he had a beginning and he had an actual end? If we brought him back, would it not only, would it not diminish him? Like bringing a full game for Hunk? Would it not ruin the mystery? Why people love him so much? I kind of feel like leaving Wesker dead will only make people want him more. And giving him to the people might seem awesome at first, but it'll ruin it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like his story was came and it went, and it was great. Let's create something new, something like a new Wesker. You know, like, why relive that same thing? It'll 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 take away from how special it was. <clears throat> oh, I need it now because I'm... Oh, I'm going, hey? That's coming up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Catch, 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 catch. Good catch. Catch, 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 catch. Catch, catch. Good catch. I got the boss coming up. I gotta go get more ammo, more health. I remembered. We're almost there, guys. I almost beat the game. Yeah, I gotta get the music played too. Shit, that was a close one. Good catch. Try to take this guy out. He's having a, a nuisance. I just wanted to let you guys listen to the Saber theme again. That's so good. All right, kids, we need... Everything we don't bring, we won't be able to... Do. Oh no, we do gotta... Yeah. Good. <clears throat> At least need two heals. I think that should be good. Actually. Hmm. I want that. Yes. That feels right. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. 
We should have had our RE soccer or basketball. I would have been okay. That that's a silly spin-off. I would have been down for that. God damn it, banner bitch. Resident Evil Cart. Hmm. Leon would be the worst driver, but he'd have a lot of skill in shooting. Hey, well, there's something behind this. Yes. Resident Evil Cart. Yes. I'll make you a porcupine! Porcupine, porcupine, porcupine! Ha <laughs> ha! Going for your kneecaps! Porcupine! Catch, 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 catch! Come on! Die. Get out of here. There goes all my, uh, bogan. What the hell was that? Is that a fucking pterodactyl? If you leave the fire extinguisher in the box, you'll have it later. Edazukin said I need to take it with me. What? Get out of here. Mario Kart, but for adults. Yes, that would be amazing, dude. I'm <laughs> tired of seeing Chris uh, Redfield's midlife crisis in game form. Well, get used to it. Because he's going to have a lot more midlife crisis coming up. Oh, I ran into the wall. Get more bats! I just want to use my aid spray. Porcupine. Chris needs a fire extinguisher to get the magnum later. Yes. I trust you, Adazukin. This house is littered. Sony got hacked by everyone's account was at risk. Yeah, I remember that. I don't think I had a. That was a PS3. I don't. Ha, I didn't have a PS3. I was good. Now I can take it. They did make so far cart, didn't they? All right, it's my jam. Everybody, be quiet. I gotta go check my pizza! It has a long ways to go. We're good. False panic attack. All right, here we go. Where a block of concrete is a run killer? Oh, God. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Hand it. Actually, let me check this place first. There might be items. Telescope. This room's so creepy. This music is good. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. Herb. <laughs> this Wesker kicks Chris into a metal for you. This guy's a beast. He's got cat eyes. He jumps like a cat. He became a cat.
It's a key. I want this key in real life. That's super cool. Oh, what's wrong with that horse's face? Yuck. Oh, shit. There was a boss here. My mind is deceiving me. Trials would be good in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's why I love Mortal Kombat Armageddon. You could create your own fighters. That was so freaking fun. Whoa, look what I did. This is such a cool room. I'm sure, yeah, that, that probably could be 3D printed. I'd like to get all the keys from every Resident Evil game printed, but it's probably going to be, like, ridiculously expensive. And then what would I do with them? Look at them? That's why I don't know. It would be cool, but I don't, I don't know. Unless I had, like, a really cool display case. Ooh, the last one! Dude, that's an item. I can see it. Oh, it's when I go back down. It wants me to save. Chris and Claire share the item box? Yes. I have a fern. Residents of Evil? Nice. Thank you, Bacon and Grits. I appreciate that. Ahoy, ahoy, Mo Diggity. All right, do we got the thing we need? Yes, we are ready to rock and roll. It is flight time, baby. We've all been building towards this moment, and you guys have been here with me the whole way. Are we ready to fly to Antarctica? I think I am. <gasps> oh, no. Claire Redfield, hold it right there. You're a bad shot. We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. <laughs> You're a really oh. bad shot. Like, probably the worst I've ever seen. What's going on? Light her up! Uh. Ah! Steve! Wait, you... With that... You... What? A secret door! You unloaded. And you grazed her. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Wow. I think everybody in this game needs to learn. Take a... Take a... Shooting course, you know? Gotta figure out how to point the gun, aim down the sights. Just a scratch, you're bleeding everywhere. Whoa, her hair, you what shot her hair going? off! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Now it's Alex. Ah! You shot Alexia's hair off. Ah! Wait a minute. It was you all what? along, Alex! No. <clears throat> you made him cry! Wait a second. What just happened? So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean, he thinks he's two people? Yes. Okay, that's it. Get so. Let's get out of here. The self-destruct system has been That freak! Activated. He's trying to blow us up along All with the entire facility! Come on, hit that we gotta button. get to that airport. Right. Give me the wig, I wanna wear it. I'm gonna be just like Jill in Resident Evil 5. Come on, let me wear it! Should've been unlockable. 
Get out of here! I'm speed running. It's gonna blow up. I think we get all the gems. Okay, this part sucks because this is exactly where I quit playing it as a kid. Because if you don't load up, you are fucked. Not suitable for 2022? Yes, I feel like if they remade this game, they probably would have to rethink some of that. Ouch! Hey, down. What? Okay, I can't go down the stairs. Oh, I gotta wait for this guy to come up. Porcupine! Oh shit, I thought you were going down, dude! Out of the fucking way! Dropped him. These fucking things suck. Another- oh, are you fucking kidding me? Hurry up! Get up the stairs, you can't go down the stairs if they're coming up! Yup. Takes them 10 years. Lucky this place didn't blow already. Bro! Bro! Spray and pray, baby. Making everybody a porcupine. You wanna be a porcupine? I didn't think so. Get out of my way. Alright, pizza's burning. You can smell it. Ouch! Make my pizza burn. Ouch! In or out. <clears throat> I love these graphics. Yeah, they're really good. And I think they still hold up. These 3D environments. And the controls are much snappier than I remember. I always felt like they were super sluggish. They're definitely not on par with Resident Evil 3, the original. But they're still good. party do you see the flashing red lights if you have them use the bow rounds on the tyrant on the plane yes i was actually thinking that i'm gonna use that i got him can't remember if you gotta combine them with uh no i don't think so i think you just replace it up we're definitely gonna save though let me just eat my fern real quick eat my fern we're gonna switch over here it's not a Resident Evil game. You gotta have the evacuation alarm. It's a must. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you do combine them. Alright, let me go get my pizza real quick so it doesn't burn. I'll be right back and we'll close this out with the epic finale of defeating the tyrant. It has a good 10 minutes. I don't know why it shut off. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. 300 people here still. Thank you, guys. Okay, I gotta save, grab the items, and then we're good to go. I don't think I need these. I think I'm gonna grab more heals. Let me just grab these, that. Save. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm scared. New spot. Guys, the most epic moment of every any Resident Evil is coming up. The beginning of Clap Those Cheeks, Those Tyrant Cheeks, Those Beautiful, Beautiful Glutes are coming up. So what I want you guys to do, 
Members, let's spam those tyrant cheeks because we're about to witness perfection, physical perfection. And we gotta celebrate this moment. That. Do I need any of this? Do I need this shit? Hey, Jerry Ho with a 150 NT super chat. Thank you so much, Jerry Ho, for that very generous super chat. Greatly appreciate that, man. Uh, nothing to say, just showing the support. Thank you. All right, all right, I'm ready to rock and roll, baby. That's a lot of health. I need it. I think that should be good. I'm I'm probably overthinking this right now because of my past where I got wrecked. Yeah, I got wrecked here before. I don't want to do that again. I gotta go figure out where the plane is. There's some rooms I didn't go in. I think there was a save room downstairs. Ah, that's fine. Fuck this island. Blow it up, baby. I don't give a shit. Don't know hype. Hell yeah, thank you. I'm shaking my cheeks. You just can't see it right now because the camera's up here. Claire, what? Those must be the main survivors. There goes better get cheeks. out of here too. Right. Let's go. Thank you guys for spamming the cheeks. Oh God. I like the girl that says the the self destruct sequence and survivor. It's like she is not getting paid and paid enough for this shit. Like she's checked out long ago. We gotta get to that airport. And she's like, the self destruct system has been activated. I kept it because Adazuki told me to keep it. I don't remember. Should I not have brought it? Adazuki said, make sure you have it. I'm so scared. Why is she staring at Steve like that? It's making me uncomfortable. No, this girl's good. I'm talking about Survivor. This one's fine. I didn't go check that other door. I should probably go check that other door. There's probably some stuff in there. <laughs> Big Squidward energy. Come on, it's best player. Best player. I'll ask Adazukin one more time. Do I need a fire extinguisher? He says yes, I'm gonna keep it. I think there's a save room here. Everybody's saying put it in the item box. Oh shit, that's where I was supposed to go. Never mind, there's no item box. I guess here we go. I'm so scared, dude. Oh my god. Well, we got it now, no matter what. It's coming with us. Unless it breaks again. Lori, I'm here, baby. All too late. No turning back. I'll ask you guys one more time. I'm waiting for Adazuka. Do I want to leave it in my box? Or if I keep it on me, will Chris be able to get it? Because I do, honestly, I don't remember. But I trust you. But I have so many other people saying to leave it in the item box. And I'm about to go. And I hope this doesn't screw it. But if you say, no, you got to keep it on you, I'll keep it on me. Adazuka, I need you. Holy shit, guys. We had 450 likes. Thank you so much. That is huge. Let's try to hit 500 before the end of the stream. That would be probably uh, a record. Definitely. Let's try to hit 500 likes before the end of the stream. I think we can do it. This has been very epic. I appreciate all the likes. Thank you. Helps my channel. Oh, the key is, the is item box in the plane. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. We're out of here. No, I know, I gotta beat this, then we go there, and then then I switch to crit. He comes he comes here, and I'm already gone. He's like, ah oh, shit, Claire! That's what he says.
I remember last time we played this was not near as hard as I remember, but I'm still freaking out. No! We can't take off unless we raise the bridge! Okay, so leave that to me. You stay here and make the preparations for takeoff. Has been activated. All personnel. Okay. On it. Hello, Gary. Welcome. I think that's good. I think. Got to push him back. Has been cool. Oh, this is a stupid bridge part. More things you didn't need to do. I bet anything that you will get clapped the first time. I probably will. I probably will. Morning, Suelle. Welcome. Everybody just joined in. Thanks for coming by, guys. You came at the right time, baby. Bow rounds and 10 explosives. All right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I'm going to punch the tire right in the no testicles because he doesn't have testicles. All right, got to get my pizza. It's done now. Celebrate this epic stream with an epic pizza after this. Let's go! Let's go! Hoorah! Open the door. Open it. What the fuck? Oh shit, I gotta leave. Never mind, we're not leaving yet, guys. There's more things I need to do. Raise the bridge. Oh shit. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, I got more things I gotta do. Alright. I'm such a drawn out escape. Shh, I'm building the suspense. It's fine. You're having fun, I promise. This is a really drawn out escape, though. Like, why am I gonna go all the way fucking back up here? God damn, we got my hopes up. I was like, I'm right there, baby. Let's go. I realized I gotta go do all this shit, too. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to be down there. Across the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Getting, getting sticky. I'm getting sweaty. Shove it in there. Nope. I don't know where to go. I, I mean, I don't know where I gotta put this thing. I'll figure it out. I don't remember. Push the button and he's gone. 
three BOW rounds. There it is. It's pretty cool though that you gotta go back and do all this shit. There's gonna be a bunch of bander bitches when I go back through. Yeah, I've done that a ton of times, Kool-Aid. Should have saved after this, but whatever. Steven! It's over here. Pull through the door. Jigsaw appears on a tricycle. Hey. Look at all this shit. They're all gonna get up. Come here. It's over here. Hey, Ty Gelpin, how's it going, man? Final countdown. Many steps. I don't know any of this shit. Is. The big fight, JJ. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. I was ready like five minutes ago, but it's there's more things I gotta do. Oh shit! This is where we fight Tyrant. Uh oh. I'm gonna save again. Corey and I died a lot of times here. Yeah, heard you. Do I have to go up this way or can I just go back? I think I can go all the way around. Two fights with him, and I completely forgot about this one. Oh, wish me luck, guys. It's raining now, yeah, you go all the way around. Well, shit. What do you do? Alright, let's get those cheeks in the chat for real this time. I played it two years ago, but that was the last time I played it, and I forgot a lot of things. That's why I wanted to play it again, because it's been so long since I've played it, that I need to keep up with it to, to remember what's going on. That's the only way it could go. I might get wrecked. I'll probably get wrecked. That is probably definitely a thing that's going to happen. I'm gonna push this back to where I had it because whatever. You can play, download it and play it offline, you just gotta pay for it. It's only like six bucks. I have PlayStation Plus as well, but you can just go right to Resident Evil Code Veronica and download it. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, here we Until go. Detonation. Wish me luck, guys. I'm probably gonna get wrecked. But get ready for those sweet, sweet tyrant cheeks. 
PS5 version. Well, PS3 version. On PS5. I will not allow you fools to escape. This is what you get for trying to oppose me. Now feel my revenge. <laughs> You're a dolphin. The tyrant. Gluteus mess. Oh. Here we go. I'm gonna clap those cheeks. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Worm. The ultimate life form and the ultimate butt cheeks. They're about to get clapped. Here he comes! He just zooms right in on his back. Look at those cheeks! The ultimate life form. God damn! This way. Come. Miss. Ouch! Burnt your head. Let me buy. Yo! Am I dying? I died! What? Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here. How the fuck did I fell in the fire? Just gonna light him up faster? Alright, I don't light him up fast enough, I guess. Shit! I think I saved here. Ooh, that would've been bad. Aw, oh, I fucked myself. God damn it! Oh, I didn't. I got an item box. Good. I was almost there. We took bets. He probably won some money. I thought, like, you put him down and get around him. Don't waste your ammo. I could have easily just kept going. God damn it! I should have learned from the last time we played. Yeah, I went too yeah, 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 yeah. I'll fix it now. We're fine. That was easy. It goes down quick. Bitch. Come on, I thought we were flying out of here. Really want to go eat my pizza. Oh, we're almost at 500 likes. Hell yeah. That's good. Thanks, guys. Trying. Trying. Dude. What the fuck? What is wrong with you? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. That's, that shit infuriates me. I did nothing different. It just didn't want to push in for some fucking stupid reason. I love you, JJ, but bro, what? What? I told you guys at the beginning. I haven't played this game in a long time. I thought I had to get around him. I thought you could get him down and you... That's what I remember. I, it's been a long time, dude. Two years ago. Then I just gotta get him out of the way and get around him so I don't waste my ammo. That was my bad. I don't know Code Veronica like I know 1, 2, 3. Not even close. I don't. I, I think the last time I played this game was two years ago and before that, that was the first time we beat it. There you go. Pizza. Got a pizza with my name on it. Pizza with my name. Minutes until detonation. Let's go. All right, pretend that first part didn't happen. I promise. I, I, I haven't died yet. Hasn't happened. I don't die. Ever. Ever. He's getting lit up. I will 
five not minutes. allow you fools to escape. This is what you get for trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> we who are middle aged all have brain farts and fuck up. Yeah, you know. I didn't think I was fucking up. I think I, I thought I just had to get around him. I'm out of here. You died laughing. Don't worry. All right, cheeks. Round two, fight. I mean, round one, fight. At least we get to look at those cheeks once again and appreciate them. Wow, physical perfection. The ultimate life, the Squidward. I mean, Tyrant. What if I'm in an escape route from Rock Run? Hell yeah. Caught you in the knees. You gonna die or something? I'm out! That was 30? Holy shit. <laughs> Ha! Hit you in the dome piece. You're done. See ya. I think I got it, yeah. It did take way more of those grenade rounds than I was expecting, though. Holy shit. We're on it, guys. We got it. We got it. We're speed running this uh, self destruct sequence and lights. We're almost at 500. Let's hit it! Oh, yeah. And if you like uh, the streams, um, subscribe, please. Trying. I'm trying to hustle. <laughs> 10 minute animation of getting on the submarine. No. The self destruct system has been activated. And that's the thing too is you think you finally got it and it ain't over. You get there and you're like, oh shit, now we gotta fight him on the plane. This fucking guy. The self destruct system has been activated. No, I think they'd still remake it. If they were going to, they would. Oh, I'm stressed. In row. I might get clapped a few times at this part. That very well could happen. It's like longest juke ever. Wait, what? Can't go that way? little confuzzled. Oh yeah, this way. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Go, go, go. Come back. I'll go a long way. Penguin land. No, you can't skip the door animations. Not that I'm aware of. No, you can't. Ha, <laughs> thanks, Adam. so long. I was starting to get worried. No time to explain. Let's go. Move it. Right. We're out of here. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. Did I tell you I don't know how to fly a plane? Should I play Grand Theft Auto 5? Christopher. Yeah, I have exploding we air. We made it! Yahoo! Ugh, it's finally over! No, it's not. Why are you looking at me like that? Claire, I'm sorry. I know I'm I sorry. caused a lot of trouble for you. I think he's Canadian. No, it's okay. 
It was hard for both of us. That's a my. Well, I really hope you find your brother. I. I know what it's like to be alone. What are you on about? Oh, Steve. <clears throat> so, where should we go now? I'm gonna have to fight the tyrant with something in my eye. I go, Claire. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. Let's go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii, here we come. Just wing it. It'll be fine. Him in a fucking tank? Hell yeah. Question it. It's fine. It's Resident Evil Lord. Never seen a jet that takes off like that. Advanced technology. Don't even need a freaking runway. Just go straight up. True. I think the military's working on it. Ah! Oh shit, what was that? We had turbulence. Hey! What the Cargo room patch is open. I'll go back and check Come on. It out. I got pizza Thanks. waiting for me. Let's go. I've unlocked the cargo room door. This guy's done because I'm hungry. I gotta save. In a new slot. Carrier jump jet. Do they exist? I call BS on that UFO technology. Obviously, he doesn't need a G suit. Yeah, no, he's good. But he does need some G fuel. Alright, we're good. We got him. He's done. Here we go. This is what we've all been waiting for. It's in San Andreas. Yeah. Open the door, Claire. It's legit? No shit, I'll have to look it up. Everybody's gonna eat pizza after hell, yeah. There he is, baby. Gluteus Maximus. You got no penis! I'd be angry too. Gonna get ya! Whoa! Oh, oh my god. I don't know, can't tell from hitting him. Ouch! 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 Hold on, guy. Well, that was close. You gotta get back! I'm getting stunlocked! Piece of shit! Is it prepped? Ouch! Ouch! You gotta let me hit the thing, my guy. Boom, baby! Send that tyrant into space! Just kidding, we're in the sky. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Pro Squad Mercs. Or yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. Kind of 
went a little hard there with the arrows, but I got scared. Woo-wee! That's what I'm talking about, baby! I'm gonna jump off now, too. Yeah, we did it! Pizza time! All right, I'm out of here. Yeah! Killed him so fast. What was wrong? I almost oh, got nothing. sunlocked. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. Cockroach? Is that what you call a tyrant? Whoa! Fucking Steve took a hard right. I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. We're doing a barrel roll. Oh, you're not even flying it. This it's fucking thing's been in autopilot the whole time. I Hell yeah! To manual Let's go. My apologies. Come on, we're really close but to 500 likes. Can we hit it for epic defeat now. of tyrant? Oh. We're really close. I want to set Alfred. a new record. Cross-dressing freak! Whoa! Can't say that. Claire. That was beautiful. So touching. Ooh, this music. I don't remember this. Canceled! <laughs> Damn, five hours in. We beat the game, guys. That's a freaking speed run if I ever seen one. Epico. Yes. Not while she's sleeping, Steve! You have to make sure she can consent, you fucker. God damn! <sighs> Got a little out there. Hey, where are we? No. A little creepy, huh? Latitude, 82.17 Damn it, Steve. Degrees. That's a little key creepy as fuck, The Antarctic. Yeah? We're you over think? the Antarctic. What? Oh, we're in the Antarctic. Perfect. This is way better than Hawaii. Oh, shit, we're coming in hot. Hey, those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us. Air Jordan. This place belongs to Umbrella. Oh man, this autopilot sucks. Can I at least put the legs down there? The feet? No, no feet. We're going in fucking scraping. Yeah, we'll park here. Parked it. Steve, I thought you knew how to fly a plane. Yes, let's go! Disc 2 next Sunday! Actually, next Sunday is my birthday. Maybe next Saturday or Sunday. I might do a birthday stream next week. I don't know. Dang, what is it? 19th. That's my birthday. It might be on Monday. Well, shit. If I stream next Sunday, check the dates. Yeah, 19th is a Monday, which technically this is a Monday. Birthday stream next week. How's it going emotionally intelligent? It ain't over. We got Chris showing up. Steve almost committed a felony. He did. Hey, he would have had to get up, registered. Oh, oh. Hey, thank you, Matthew. It's not my birthday yet, but thank you. Next week, I'll be Dirty 30. We're second year anniversary. The ultimate Daniel. How's it going? Thanks for coming by. Oh. Steve, you're a little creepy, man. Steve was ready to unconsent. 100%, Thanks. dude. He was really, really, he was right there. Can't control, he had control over himself, but it was really late. He's got some demons. Oh, uh, <coughs> plane's trashed. Hello, Arta Walt. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized 33 freezer. in May. Right. Hell yeah. Early happy birthday, Danielle. Okay. Thank let's you, Game Kage. All right. We're going to call her there. We saved 
We beat half of the game exactly where I wanted to get by the end of the stream. It took a little longer than I expected, but that's okay because we had fun on the way. It was a journey, and we finally got back into Code Veronica like I've been wanting to for the last two years. And we're finally here, Bert, baby. Uh, but next week is going to be fun because we have uh, part two of the Fall of Raccoon City on Row next Friday. Uh, this week, we're going to have a stream from Beggy Bag Bag and Tony and potentially Andy on the Twitch. So make sure you're following our Twitch. And then next Sunday, it's going to be a very fun one because it's going to be my Dirty 30 second year anniversary live stream of the conclusion of Code Veronica. I couldn't ask for a better game hanging out with better people. But I appreciate you guys a ton. Thank you for coming by tonight. Thank you for almost 500 likes. I think we can hit it before the end of the stream. That would be epic. It'd be a great way to start the week. Uh, that would be a record. Thank you so much for all the super chats, guys. I appreciate your support. Thank you to the three new members. If you became a member or you were gifted a membership, to those that gifted, thank you. And just everybody that was here hanging out for the last five hours, you guys are the real MVPs. I appreciate you. Appreciate hanging out with you every weekend. But guys, I hope you have a fantastic week. Uh, if you got to work, I hope you enjoy it. I got to work later today. But just know there's going to be more cool things coming up. So stay tuned. To everybody, thank you. Have a great night. And I'll catch you in the next one. All right, guys. I'll see you in, a, in Friday. Bye, everybody. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be streaming in my 50s. Thank you, Rambling Deviant. Happy be- Oh, thank you, Xenon. Thank you, Steven, good night. Thank you, Xenon. Uh, you're at work, Elsman <laughs> Daniel, awesome, awesome. Good night, everyone, good night, Addison. Thank you for all your help, man. See you, Rob Higgins. Braxy One Creations, have a good night. Four likes to go, guys. Let's do it. Hit 500. Smash it. I think we can do it. I'm gonna stick around. Oh, holy shit, did we just hit it? Oh my god. I think we did. I think we did. 500 likes, a new record for this channel. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it a ton. You guys, let me know what you like to see, and you help my channel. So thank you for 500, guys. I appreciate you. Love you. Good night. Or good day. Goodbye.